Hello, welcome to another episode of SDS. Now, this this could be an all timer episode. So, wherever you're watching this episode right now, whether it's at home, whether it's on a flight, whether it's on your way to work, if you're just listening to it and you're cooking, please just give us your all absolute divine attention because this is a big one. This is first of all, this is a f- first time cast. All together, this combination for the first time. Yeah. I say a lot. We always have brand new combinations, but this is a brand new combination because we've on purpose never done this before. That is because we have three Manchester United fans on the table. All three. We don't. We don't ever do that because we need people representing every single team or at least a few different teams. We have all three Man United fans here because I feel like it's been brewing, you know. And I think we need to have an emergency meeting. We are doing a Premier League roundup today, so we will talk about other, we will talk about other teams. But we have to talk about the Man United situation first because I want to hear from all their viewpoints. So let me introduce them, first of all. Person next to me, inspired the shirt that I'm wearing today. I love it. I'm wearing an Inter Milan shirt because Lias just came back from Milan. Jeez. He came back from watching the Derby della Madonnina. I love that pronunciation. But yeah, he came back from watching the Derby <laughs> della Madonnina. Mm. And he is too busy watching this team and over his own team, playing at the same time. Oh, wait, you didn't watch United? That's not true. And I'll even provide a clip. I literally, it'll be in the vlog that I post, but I literally was watching it, uh-huh. first of all, in the cafe before, and then on my way there. I'm mm. a real fan, bro. But you know what? I had to cleanse my eyes and watch proper football and experience proper football. So. I like it. Like, <laughs> yeah, there so you go. Lias. Opposite Lias. We have another Man United fan. Repping the SDS shirt. Yeah, man. Always got to be repping the people, man. It's abs, biscuits. Yeah, man. I feel like today... You just came I'm back from somewhere as well. You want to tell them where you came back from? Chill out, chill out. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> holiday. Um, uh, yeah, it was a nice holiday. Yeah. But... Um, uh, <laughs> I needed to reset an international break as well because because yeah, yeah. it's been a tough 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 start to the season. But I feel like I'm surrounded by um, uh, two extremes, and we're going to be talking about them uh, on the pod so far. So Extreme, yeah. last but not the, least, the we're balance, wearing the uh, brand new Shit Devil Dan. Edition. Shit Dan, yeah. That's Devil Edition. Much. That's crazy still. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, that was crazy. In the United shirt, <laughs> Devil Edition. Sorry, <laughs> he lost his whole yeah, mind. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah. We did this. I mean, even a shit out of the You're Sorry. done. Are you keep the angle on me. I don't even want them to <laughs> see. You. I don't want them to see. What, what like. <laughs> We're gonna run this town tonight. Levi is here, <laughs> bro. I got, I got actual <laughs> tears in my eyes right now. <laughs> Levi is the last one here, so we got all my United fans here. <laughs> Emergency <laughs> meeting. I would have been lost this whole oh, man. Um, so yeah, let's let's open it up with. Man United, uh, they just yeah, played yeah. at home against Brighton. <laughs> they lost 3-1 yep. to Brighton. Obviously, th- this is a game we're going to talk about, but also I want to talk about mm. United as a whole, mm. what's going on. We've got three different viewpoints. You all support the same team, but you guys don't agree mm. on a lot of things. Mm. So quickly on the game, you guys lost 3-1 to Brighton at home. Uh, most shots on target in Europe's big five leagues mm-hmm. is the Zerbi's first match in charge of Brighton. Uh, Brighton are the first non non big six side to win four consecutive Premier League games against Man United. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that the other day. Yeah. Four consecutive Crazy. Premier League games against Man United. You know, so they are, they are becoming uh, officially a bogey team. Mm. Uh, Man United have lost three of their f- opening five games mm. of the Premier League for the first time in the competition history. Uh, Pascal Gross has now scored four Premier League goals against Man United at Old Trafford. He loves that place clearly. Pascal Gross. Uh, Steven Gerrard and Mohamed Salah are the only players who have scored more, both five each. So Gross, after Gerrard and Mohamed Salah, two legends mm. in the Premier League, has got the most goals at Old Trafford. There's. And Danny Welbeck has scored more Premier League goals against Man United than any ex United player in the competition's history. Mm. And he even hit you with a little celebration as well. Mm-hmm. So, guys, talk to me. Obviously, that's a little brief couple of stats from the game. You lost 3 1. We could talk about the game a little bit and also what is going on. Um, Abs, I'm going to start with you because it's not a good start to the season. Three losses in the first five games. How are you feeling right now? If we're talking about the Brighton game, funnily enough, I think we started quite well. And um, I think uh, most United fans did think that as well. Ten Hag went with the diamond shape. That he's, he's, he, I remember he said before the game, I'm going to try and do something different. Mm. It's tough doing that against a Brighton team. I'd understand if it was a team that, you know, that posed less of a threat. Right, and obviously with the way that they play, I feel like we now look for, we kind of give them a kind of a bit of a problem with their build up at the beginning. But as soon as they figured it out, and uh, uh, like Leas was saying off camera as well, ta- uh, De Zerbi made tactical tweaks in it. It was easy for Brighton to play through us. All of their goals, you look at Brighton's goals, so easy. Mm-hmm. They just played through us. It was just like breaking through the lines easily. And it just looks like the way that we're trying to play football this season with this current couple of players is not going to work. 
it can't work with this current crop of players. And and that's why, although we're going to talk about the thoughts on the manager and stuff like that, I feel like that's where that's the only side that I err on patience with Ten Hag in the sense that I believe this squad, not counting the injuries, because we have so many injuries to players that are he's quite clearly liked. So we have injuries to key players. And also with the fact that this Brighton team do play very, very good football. Because uh, by the second half, by the time I'm watching the second I don't know about you guys, I'm just like in awe of what they're doing. They just have such comfort and composure on the ball. And yes, Man United should be there. And it should, Brighton and Hove Albion should not be doing that out of Trafford. <clears throat> they're a very, very good footballing team. We started well against them. Hoyland looked good. Uh, it's so why can't you guys be a very good footballing team? Right now, the, the, the players, the players that we have, we yeah, cannot Manchester play that United. style of football. Mm. We can't play that style of football with these current players that we have right now. Mm. I think, I think, um, for me, it's easy for us to talk about the game, but I think it's more deep rooted than the I, game I itself. I agree, and that's yeah. why I don't, I don't even. I agree. Obviously, like, the game. I know the game happened, is itself, but I don't even want to talk you about guys the game. Are here to talk yeah. About yeah, what's got, as a whole. I think the game is a representation of everything that's wrong with Man United at the moment. So, I think uh, the deep, the deep rooted issues. If you look at Brian. I'm not surprised they beat us. You know, they're a good I coach think, team. I think most people they, predicted that. Yeah, like I, even this weekend, I wasn't confident that we could be. I couldn't say 100, like I couldn't go into the game thinking, yeah, we're going to get 100% get three points. And I knew there was a high possibility we could lose this weekend. And that's because one, they're a very good, uh, well-coached team. They've got a very good coach. And two, if you actually look at Brighton now, in this current moment in time, they're actually a better run club. They're a better institution than Man United. I think, really, true. I think, yeah. I think from, more from, than half, from, and I think that's going, that's going from is, no? head. No, but yeah, you could say a lot of teams. Brentford, you could throw a lot of teams out. I, I think Man United, if you're looking at it in terms of as a as a club, as a football club, as a business, as an institution, everything, I think Man United would probably not, not even in the top 10. And this is the biggest club in world football. Exactly. So <coughs> arguably. that's why for me, I think, yeah, it's easy to, to dissect the game and, mm. and criticize Ten Hag, but. I think it goes beyond him. I think if you actually look at the list of problems, I think Ten Hag's at the bottom, for me personally. Because you look at the issues that we have outside of on the pitch. Yeah, of course, on the pitch, there's things that can be rectified and mm -hmm. there are issues. But at the same time, if you look at the way the club is run, that is a reflection on the pitch, in my opinion. So I is Ten Hag blameless then? Is that what you're it's saying? It's not blameless. You could of course, he's open to criticism as well. You know, you look okay. at the way we play football, you can criticise it. But... Again, you have to also look at the, the personnel that he's got, you know, the, fina the financial situation at the club, the issues yeah, the that personnel, he's... The, yeah. Anthony is his player. I forget Anthony. Is Ant his Anthony is very easy. But it's, it's player, easy. It's, no, but this is, yeah, like, but it's easy. Okay, then. is a top player. Everyone, like, okay, everyone but then, yeah, have. so you can, you can talk about the recruitment. He came first. in with Bruno Fernandes already there, Rashford already there. Okay, but look at his recruitment. Though. Half, okay, well, how many places has he brought in? What, about a good 15 people that he's brought in since he's arrived, right? Yeah, decent Okay, half of that, half of that are... Either free transfers or loans. Yeah. So regular and this on is back. this is Manchester. He's United. one of our better players. And and, 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 and this is we're talking about Manchester United football club. Here. Yeah. 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 A club that's meant to be com well traditionally meant to be competing for titles. It's the Champions club leagues. In the world. Getting, you know what I mean? We're supposed to be at the top end, and you look at the way we're recruiting; it's horrible. It, it, and and that for me that always does that it, fall it, it back to the owners. I think Whoa, just one sec. Yeah. We're just about recruitment just now. And yeah. you're analysing what the issues are with the certain players that have been brought in. But why Agreed. are we... Why but that's been an yeah. issue with Jose Mourinho. It's been an issue with all these... Yeah. I hear you with the, with the board level. Point, knowledge, but I'm saying that why? with the certain players that have been why? brought in, yeah. does Ten Hag deserve blame for some of these players? No, because I think you put the Zerbi in Man United right now and he's going to struggle. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You put, I, yeah, you put, you put Pep, you yeah. put, you put Pep Guardiola in Manchester United. Yeah. He's going to struggle. And this is the best coach in the world. Mm. Yeah, you can't tell yeah. me Pep Guardiola is going to win a league right. No, 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 impossible. Like, like impossible. There you go. So then, they, they, so now it makes sense. What Marino said his best ever achievement. Team, as a manager. He doesn't yeah. reason why he said that. Yeah. Though, if you actually, bro, look, yeah. I have, I, I'm, I'm okay with people criticizing Ten Hag, but mm -hmm. what I don't like is people blaming him for everything that's going on at yeah, the club. I agree. And I think there's a lot of fans, and I feel like rival fans too. Of course, rival fans are rival they're fans. They're going to have yeah, their they're agendas and they're going to attack and they're going to want obviously to see United. So that's actually that's fine. We've all had. United laugh at I think a lot of the a lot of the, the so get back. yeah, but the thing is, I feel like a lot of the criticism that is directed towards I think personally uh, towards Ten Hag is unfair. I think if you look at his recruitment, his recruitment is tied to the finances. Right now, the club is in a situation where you spent his money. hands. We spent yeah, spent we, we spent, we spent money, money, but has he spent he, enough money? Okay, but has he had? So I don't think finance okay, no, is an issue. No, right? but okay, but if you look at his okay. Yeah, you're gonna say Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. I'm not but talking about anything. I'm just saying no, you spent I'm, a lot of money. Okay, no, you Anthony, you could, we can say yeah. Right now, we're looking at it, we can say yeah. Anthony was probably a mistake. 
that's fine. Managers can make mistakes. That's not a problem. But yeah. made mistakes. Yeah. When, uh, Artessa's made mistakes. If you look at his recruitment, he's made mistakes. That's Agreed. fine. You, maybe sometimes your judgment in, in, in players and that's, that's fine. That happens. That happens. There that can happens. be but mistakes in recruitment. You, yeah. Last season, we we were praising Ten Hag. We were saying, Absolutely. "Yo, Casemiro was an incredible signing." Uh, we, we 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 were talking about uh, 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 Licha being one of the best signings of the season. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ericsson done a good job for the majority of last season, in my opinion. Yeah, he yeah. held it down. He held it down for us. So. To now, then, all of a sudden, when things are not going, I, I, my thing is this: until the owners get changed, we're gonna these problems. These uh, problems will continue. It will, it, it won't like these problems won't disappear until we until the owners. I think the board needs to be spoken about as well, though. As well, well because we do we even have a board? But we've got murder. Do we even have a? Do we, 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 we have a board? Wait, so do we have a board? You're yet to say a word, Lias. Yeah, I want to know what, what you think of all this because. You're listening patiently. You've almost finished a bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, you you just got that bottle now, bro. Why is it half empty already? Because obviously, Lee Band's like cutting and hug a lot of slack. I know you. Some, I know you're kind of like a bit thinking, "Oh, okay, he's doing a lot of things wrong as well." Mm. So where do you sit on this? Because obviously, there's issues from the players. I, I think there's so much to talk about. Of course, there's there's manager, there's ownership, there's players. I think players like Rashford, Bruno Fernandez, they're not doing enough. These are your star players. Yeah, what's going on? I think it's rotten to the core, the club. But I'm an outsider. That's why I got all three of you guys. Yeah. Educate me. What's going on in your club? I'm a little confused as to why I'm here. To be honest with you, because yeah. I gave you on match day two an entire blueprint about what is wrong with this team. Mm. I gave you guys the blueprint, and you guys could have gone either one of two ways. Could have either said. Oh, that's silly Yank. What the hell is he talking about? Mm. He's not a real United fan. He's being too reactionary. I'm going to go side with Levan. Or you could have taken it on board, accepted that maybe at least some of what I was saying had some nuance to it, had some truth to it, and realized that, bro, we are in trouble this season. Now, I am not Eric Ten Hag out. Not at all. I want to see this guy succeed. And I truly believe that he is a good manager, right? Just the same way that I believe Ralph Raniak was not a rubbish coach of rubbish ideas and that he was hurt by the hierarchy and he was hurt by a culture of player power at United that ultimately overwhelms every single manager there. I do not believe Eric Ten Hag is a rubbish coach. But I think you guys are being very, very generous on him, to be honest with you. Because Eric Ten Hag's biggest issue right now, his biggest nemesis is Ange Postecoglou at Spurs. Because he is showing that no matter what you guys are saying, which is absolutely true about the Glazers and the hierarchy and the board at Man United, and that every single manager will struggle to, like you said, Pep Guardiola would not win the league his first few seasons at United. It would take some time, even for who I consider the greatest coach of all time. But it doesn't take you three, four years to implement an identity on a footballing team. And you said something the other day when we lost mm. to Arsenal. You said Abs and Lee are talking about identity, identity, identity. You said the identity. That's one of the most foolish things I've ever mm. heard you say on this podcast. And I respect what you have to say a lot about football, mm. but that was an extremely naive thing to say. Mm. Bro, there is no footballing team, especially in 2023, when we talk about how much systems are important to a team and how mm -hmm. the coaches are the protagonists of football, mm. not the individuals anymore. Mm. To say that an identity of a, a manager does not matter anymore is ridiculous. No, I didn't say and it we are a, I didn't say it didn't matter. We are a, yeah. you said your identity, bro. No, but did we, there was <laughs> a, mean, no, bro? but there's context behind that, though. I didn't say it just well, to fuck, break it down the context identity. because my thing is with Ten Hag, with the squad that he's got, there's so much misprofiles for him for the way that he wants to play football. So at the end of the day, but any but manager but who no, comes but, to a team, no, but, has he's that in, but, he, no, but he's in a lose lose situation, you know why? Because if he sticks to plan A, plan A, plan A, people are like, What are you doing? You like, you're you, you no, do something, yeah, yeah, leave that last year, for example, yeah. Eric Ten Hag tried coming in from the jump and mm. playing his style of football, mm. and it completely it failed because we didn't have the players. And yeah. we all accepted that. And in fact, he really did something, something I applauded him last year. He took a more pragmatic route, which I actually didn't believe he was uh, capable of because mm. I've always known Ten Hag and Ajax fans told us of he's course. a very stubborn manager. Mm -hmm. And last year, we were in survival mode basically the entire season trying to get short-term results just to get us over the finish line. And mm. we were all under the impression, all three of us, the reason why we predicted United to come third prematurely was because we thought, okay, Eric Ten Hag, he's had 200 million his first summer, yeah. 200 million his second summer. The team should start to... Uh, take the shape of his identity. We mm -hmm. all believe that. Yeah. And we are five games in the season and none of us at this table can mm. realistically look me in the eyes and say, what is United trying to play like? The injuries, what is the the injuries the haven't helped. You say injuries. injuries they haven't helped. Brighton and Hold Albion you. this weekend played a team where half their starting yeah, 11 was out. Was Estupanian was out. Ferguson was out. Billy Gilmore was out. This is my issue when we compare situations with clubs, right? We've seen that Deserbi is obviously coming to a team that already has principles uh, coached by. Forget Forget one second, one second, one second. The first one second, one second, one second. With, one second, one second. With, uh, but I'm saying, I'm saying, but I'm saying, my point is we have to be clear what the 
current situation is for Manchester United. Yes, Ten Hag should have come into this season now. And I agree with most of what you said so far. He did take a back seat from the beginning of the fir- um, his first season. He said, you know what? I can't do it with these players. So I'm going to find a pragmatic approach. We all applauded him for that. He's come into this season and we have seen him attempt to try and play a different style of football because we have not seen, let's just take, for example, Lissandro Martinez, for example, someone who was sitting in a deeper block last season, mm. looks brilliant, has all the ball playing ability, looks fantastic. Now when he's asked to, obviously, I'm not sure what his fitness level was like, but he's been asked to be much more fro- um, forward thinking and a, fr- um, a progressive defender. He's got to win start tackles start higher on the pitch. Exactly. The exactly. He's struggling, so no? He has been struggling so yep. far. So my point is this, the whole team so far, and that's one of our better players, mm. has to deal with now going to this different style of football with not all of the but, team but, available but to abs, him. Bro. But abs, this is the problem, bro. This And this is honestly my biggest issue of Eric Ten Hag at the moment. Because again, I understand that any manager that comes in, he's going to have his hands held back in terms of the market. Because he, no matter how much United spend, the biggest issue they have is offloading players. And that has a, mm-hmm. a ten, yeah, yeah, that has generational a reverse issue, effect yeah. amongst the board. Fact, but yeah. the issue is... And, I'm going to predict the future here a little bit. I don't know if it's going to necessarily come out, but I have a pretty damn good idea of what's going to happen this season. Eric Ten Hag has all these injuries and he's going to go back to last season, get into survival mode. It has to be. And we're going to sit back a little deeper. We're going to try and get some more short-term results. Maybe it gets us top four, top five. Because to be honest with you, the league is pretty weak at that at that stage. It's like Brighton is competing for fourth. No disrespect to them. Spurs, I don't think these teams are like, it's not like City and Arsenal who are in Liverpool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, much better than I agree. United could realistically still do something like they did last year and, and at the end of the, the edge, season, edge, edge, top edge top four, yeah. top five. Yeah. But realistically, it's going to be another survival mode, but get into the next yeah, summer, and then yeah. we're going to hope, okay, Tanag maybe gets right. another 200 million to sign these players. Yeah. And I actually it, don't think he will, you know. I think... Uh, that's I, not, I, okay, I would, I would that's, actually... That's, that's, no, 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 I understand it, if he did, but, but I actually but don't think he will that, this time. That's, this is, again, I'm, I'm predicting mm. this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to go to survival mode. We're going to maybe get fourth, fifth. And that's if he gets that, he stays. Then he'll get He might even get sacked. No, but, well, but here's my point. We're going to get to the window. He's going to spend another 200 million pounds. Do any of us feel comfortable with this guy without a director of football behind him signing the right profiles to actually make this the style of play that he has come to life? But because this, I don't trust him without a director no, of football. This is where I fall in between. Go on, go on. Yeah, no, no. Because you know what yeah, like Just going off what he's saying, yeah? Is that a bad thing, though? Is what a bad thing with the prediction that you made? Yes, yes, bro. But, but no, well, scraping no, 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 why, no, 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 no. It's not progression. No, okay, it's not progression. But given the circumstance, this is where yeah, my, yeah. this is where me and Elias now we're we're in two different places. Mm-hmm. Given the circumstances, now I understand what you're saying. I agree. As as a, as a Manchester United fan, I want to see the things that you're saying, hundred mm. percent. By now, I would have loved to see mm. us playing good football. Playing at least, even if we lose games, that's fine. I don't mm. care. We can lose a football match. Mm. That's not a problem. At least playing the right way or playing yeah. or showing, like you said, some sort of identity. Yeah. But I'm looking at the circumstances this the guy is situation. under yeah. in terms of, like you said, offloading players. Yeah, mm-hmm. not being able to actually bring in his first first choice targets. That's another thing. He's having to budget in the market, get free transfers, get loan deals in. He's having to do all of these things. And on top of that, he's got to have to deal with all the off, off, off-field off issues with certain individuals yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. in, in the, in the I, dressing room. And I will always yeah. give him credit for that. But this yeah. is, again, where I go back to yeah. Ange Postecoglou is his biggest enemy right now. Yeah. Because Ange Postecoglou is at Spurs, yeah. who have dreadful hierarchy. Oh, we yeah, all know that. Yeah. They have not been able to offload Eric Dyer. They have not been able to offload Ben Davies. They also struggle in that. They just lost possibly their greatest ever player. Mm-hmm. So Spurs is not Brighton, like you're no, saying. No, Spurs is not Brentford. Yeah. Five, no, games no, in, no, five games in, comparing Spurs and Man United. Compare, no, compare no, five games in last year. Year, compare five games in this no, year. My point, have my not point is, seen is, I'm saying that Andrew's situation. I understand. You're it, right because it it's quite damning. It's quite damning. I think it's it could obvious. have. It could, but we don't know where Andrew's Spurs are going to no, go. But this, like no. they haven't really had tough. Other than I, United, have they had a tough fixture? I, I, I really. agree. I agree. Spur- next weekend, no, but, we'll see what it is. My point, and this goes back to what Levan was saying. Spurs could absolutely capitulate in terms of results. But I will be extremely shocked if they lose those games because they play a different style of play. They'll lose their games. They'll keep playing Andrew's style, bro. That's my point. That's my point. Ten Hag will again. And go back to survival mode. But I have this, I had this this saying even last year, mm. and it even got shook a bit when Casemiro came in. Don't cheat the process. Mm. If you have a process, stick with it. I take Arsenal, for example. I take Liverpool, for example. Liverpool came what, sixth and seventh the first two seasons? Yeah. Arsenal came eighth, eighth, eighth and fifth. Yeah. And it's because they had to go through the growing pains, but they stuck with their identity, stuck yeah. with the process. They didn't go and sign Arsenal, for example. 
I don't know, like someone who's completely off the blueprint. Yeah, yeah. Like thirty years old, maybe still has a few. Yeah, they, yeah. They stuck with a window. No, the but signings you could they see, you could, he was, made exact signings that fit his. But he was style, going for Frankie the, the whole summer, and then the, uh, by the end of it, when we started losing games at the beginning, the club throw Casemiro at him. Like, I, I, it's, no, but this is why. I, well, that's why I hear what Levan saying at the beginning about the hierarchy holding him back. Which I well. will never, I will never disagree with. No, mm. no, you know the thing about the Tottenham thing. Yeah, no disrespect to Tottenham. Yeah, but they're coming off probably a, a very one of their worst seasons in recent right. in recent memory, right? And they're Tottenham. No, I'm not. They're not even trying to say that in a rude way. Nah, but they're it, Tottenham. Their expectations. They're different. I agree. Are completely course, different. Yeah, it's not Wait, as loud. Hard, I feel like, uh, like you're right. You should, as a manager, you should do what Arteta did. Whereas that sort of just stick to your you idea. You can't do that, at Man but United. But the thing bro, is, see. the pressure of having to get results at Man United. You can't do that, at Man United. It's what's making them think. You know what? I might not even if I if I try to play if I try to I'm play the football that I want to play My and the style I want to play with this with this group of players. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna have a job by next. Yeah, summer. I'll be fired. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. he's probably got that in his mind. So I think I, I, I hear I, I hear that, that Levan. I hear that Levan. Look, look at Mourinho, look at Mourinho, Van Hal, and Ali, yeah. and, and Moyes. Yeah. Ten Hag will lose his job anyways, bro. If this is the way it's going, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, Ten Hag will not succeed here if it's mm -hmm. just going to go every single time it goes bad. He's just going to fall back into the survival mode. Ten Hag will yeah. not succeed at Man United. That's going to happen. So yeah. whether he loses his job this season or he loses it but two seasons from now, this is why I'm saying it's a lose lose situation for him in terms of. No matter what angle he goes with, because of the structure of the club, mm -hmm. because of the the, the 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 weak mentality of this group of players, this this group of players mentally are are, are very weak. They're so weak. They're, They're so finished. weak. So I'm saying, like, regardless of what direction you go, whether he goes your direction or the way whether he goes my direction, he's, he's sorry to say, it, but he's mm -hmm. he's actually. Mm. I don't see a good damned outcome, do, both, but don't. I see a more safer outcome by him just trying to grind out results. Him trying to play football with this group of players, impossible. But, but hold yeah, on, but hold on. on. He's, he's supposed to be a top coach as well. Yeah, go ahead. Problem lies, you're yeah. not even grinding out the results. You're yeah. not even getting that's the, the thing. results. That's the issue. We could have lost all five games this season, guys. But, we, yeah. People will say, yeah. oh, this game, uh, we could have potentially gotten something against Brighton in the first 17 minutes. We could have grinded out a result against Arsenal. We could very easily have yeah. lost all five games this five. season. Yeah. Yeah. Forest the no, 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 no. I was going to say, 2-0 against guys, which we won. That could have been four losses. Wolves could have destroyed us, bro. Wolves could have and should have won. We're winning games by fine margin. Kunia was running through the middle of the pitch every game. But this you could have lost five straight Mandem. games. Yeah. No, but it could have been the case, but we also no, could have, could have, like it's crazy. Could, could we final. have Spurs played we us could, like the first second half? But I'm uh, saying there was moments in the Spurs game in the first half as well. But that's the problem. But, but, but this team, we bro. are a moments team, and and yeah. the only time that I really saw us take advantage of moments was even though we lost the game against yeah, Arsenal. Yeah, Rashford has one chance, bang, it's a goal. I was thinking when that is going through, just be clinical. But this is what I'm saying, and just one point I, uh, I was thinking to say earlier with the recruitment thing, I feel like. His recruitment isn't as bad as people make out to be because yes, he's made a mistake of Anthony. More often than not, the signings that he's been he's brought in so far, I don't even want to blame the finances, but they haven't been people that he is bringing in for first team football. So we look at the people that he's brought in. For my in my opinion, Casemiro is a club signing. That is when when we're losing the first couple of games um, in last season, and they say to him, "Here's a, here's, a, here's an option that we have for you here. There's a DM. He's going for Frankie Young for the whole summer." We're looking at the whole summer. We're seeing Frankie De Jong links. How far away from a DM do you go from Frankie me, De Jong to Casemiro? So it was no, like once. I just want to interrupt you about this. Go on. Because this again goes back to: Do I trust Eric Ten Hag right now? Mm -hmm. This whole Frankie De Jong, Frankie De Jong, Frankie mm -hmm. De Jong. I love Frankie De Jong. I think he's one of the best midfielders in the world. Yeah. But we're talking about Frankie or Casemiro. Mm -hmm. Do you think Eric Ten Hag would have played Frankie De Jong as the sole defensive midfielder with Eriksen and Bruno on either side of him? What would we have lined up with Frankie De Jong last year? I believe we would have signed De Jong, and bro, we would have been absolutely exposed in midfield, bro. De Jong is not a sole midfielder. But then midfielder. it comes back to the point that you said, trust the process no matter what. So if we were trusting oh. the process no matter what, then of we course. would give Ten Hag Frankie De Jong and see what he does. This is my and then issue. he might not have to I, I don't, I don't um, know if I throw his... I, don't, I honestly don't know. That I still like I don't think that's justified. I don't think that's justified. I think that's crazy. I'm, I'm, I think that's I'm, crazy. I'm, I'm starting that's to where, not That's trust the only part I don't disagree with. This is the problem. I think that's crazy. This is my thing where you're saying you're you're having a problem with trusting him now. For me, I think if... We, we have to kind of ride the storm with him. Facts. We have to ride through this storm because I'm I'm what for me, his situation is when we when we are off when we go this season I think a lot of it is really down to the injuries. When yeah. we when we have a full strength team, we just about get there. Do you know what I mean? With Luke Shaw, Varane and all these players that I'm saying, I feel like that's that's no, no, there's like, still something. Missing. I know that. I get you know, what no, trying no, to say. Yeah. Yeah. I understand the whole yeah. riding the storm thing. No one knows that better than I do. We yeah. had the same situation, similar situation with Arteta. Like I said, eighth, eighth, fifth. Like everyone knows, we lost our first three games of the season a couple of seasons yeah. ago. Yeah. Rock bottom of the league. Same thing we had. It was the same thing we had. Yeah. Ilias and Stars mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. Arteta out. And I was saying, ride a storm ever. But I know what he's saying. It's like, even at Arsenal's worst, you were still seeing something mm -hmm. different. Something from Arteta that you're not seeing. 
I th- I'm with, seeing, with, I'm with seeing with Ten Hag, bro. He's not seeing it. You guys I hear are. it. Like, that's, what, that, like, that's what the problem is. No, that's what I'm saying. You're so, seeing it and he's not. But this is what I'm saying. This is why, like, it's 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 so tough because this is the reason why the situation is different. It's like Arteta but, never but actually. It's similar because we won the FA Cup, we won the Carabao Cup, even when. But still... you know how Arteta stuck by it no matter what. You guys might have been playing a back five, but you're still playing his football the through the darkest winter. Horrible, I remember the winter that, that you guys had where you were breaking records for how many games you're losing. He stuck by his guns the whole way. What Eric Ten Hag showed me is what, like he's like Liban talking about. You can't do that at Manchester United. It's it's impossible yeah. to do Arsenal that at Manchester United. More time you United guys, no problem. Like you guys said to him, take as much time as you need. We trust you fully. With at Manchester United, you can't do that because you lose three games on the bounce. Your job is on that fourth game could be gone, and that's the so level of Manchester United. And but this is what I'm saying. So this is that situation. So you can't do that, at Man United. But he went and he said, okay, I'm putting my philosophy to the side, and I'm gonna get results. So I was that's fine with it for one year. I was fine no with problem. It for no year. problem. I don't think he's gonna do that this year. I don't think he's going to do that. I think his issue is with this in, in this squad is he wanted a right centre back in Kim Min Jae. He didn't get Kim Min Jae. He wanted happens. he wanted these things happen. These, yeah, these things happen. Right, every team. He wanted a right back. He doesn't get a right back. My thing is the best team that he looks at right now. He likes the kid Kobe Mano, and he he brought in Sofyan Amrabat. I personally don't think that his final team uh, has Casemiro in it. Uh, Casemiro did brilliantly last year. Like, I'm not going to get it twisted. But for the football that he wants to be playing, the amount of ground that he covers right now is so tough for Casemiro because he hasn't got the physical abilities to be doing anymore, Casemiro right? Soon. And 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 so for, so in the future, until Kobe Mano gets injured, I feel like Casemiro and Amrabat will play together. But then I think Ten Hag's team will look like um, Amrabat and Mino playing together. And if he does that, then that's not a team that's going to be sitting back and and doing uh, like he did last season and and, and yeah, forgetting his philosophy. You know I think, so I do think yeah, there are yeah, things no, that I'm just, seeing in the future. Is, I think. With with the team at full strength, I think can get just about get the job done for him. Don't you think that's an issue though? Just yeah, about saying, I, I saying your yeah. best I, with I, this much no, money. So how, how many first no, team I, players no, are his? I agree. I agree. But how many first uh, by, yeah, full no, strength? No, how many? This first goes team back though to Abs. What we were saying because remember I was saying Rashford is his player. Bruno is his yeah, player. I don't have no, issue. Da- with that. No doubt about that. Luke Shaw is his player. So when you think about that, Onana, Luke Shaw, Lissandro Martinez, we won't include Varane and, and yeah. Dalo and Ramsey. I know you don't believe them. Impossible. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hoyland, Anthony, Mason Mount, Mason Mount. So yeah. how many players did I just name? That's eight starters. When everyone is fit, that's eight starters right mm. there. That, that's that's a pretty hefty chunk of a of a manager say on a team, bro. This isn't a case now where like okay, he's brought th- it was again last season. I understood it. Yeah, yeah. This season, and okay, fair enough. If you want to say let's wait till everyone comes when back. Let's see them. But, let's see the but, eight. But bro, I I don't think it should be this drastic of a change the way we play. Oh, when a be. few guys are, like, I don't think shit. so, bro. Our team shit. Again, bro. You, you you could admit our team shit. I don't really rate our team that highly. So you, no, no, they're but, very, but, very bad. Hold on, but hold so, on. I, I don't yeah. rate Wolves' this team highly either. Yeah. And Wolves popped us off the park, yeah. bro. I don't rate Spurs' this team that yeah. highly either. And they popped us off the yeah, park. Yeah, but that's, that's a, again. Without the eight t- first team same. players that we're talking it's, about. But, yeah. but Spurs, no. At full on, strength, my, my Man United is, won't look like that against no, Wolves but, and Spurs. I refuse to I refuse but, but, to believe that, bro. My point is, non-full strength United shouldn't look like that against Wolves and Spurs too, bro. That's true as well. But that's because that depends on how highly you rate this team. I think this team is very, very bad, bro. You should have, you should have enough players, enough Especially, good players yeah. from your recruitment that can, injuries happen in football. Things happen for you. You should have enough good players that can come in and play still at a good level to beat teams that are in the even bottom when it comes to, recruitment, to beat teams that are in the bottom half of the table. We ha- you see teams, obviously, yeah. like City are a different level, yeah. but you see these kind of teams where it's like, it's the system and then the, every, the most players, players like can cogs, play bro, in we, the system. We talk about so modern football. Someone goes yeah. out, someone comes in. Thank you. It's fine. We, That's talk how about it should we haven't developed not, the system. We're only we good haven't developed the system. Ten Hag, bro, he has to develop the system. Okay, so when, how can we say we are congratulating Ten Hag for throwing his philosophy in the bin? Then the first season where he tries the philosophy, oh, where's your philosophy and why are we not seeing it in five games? What's That's not. That's, That's my question. I'm, I don't understand that. I'm, I can answer that. I can answer that. I can answer that. Well, he he obviously has been a possession-based manager for Ajax. Possession-based, he, yeah. yeah. he has been that for Ajax. He has said in interviews, before a ball was kicked after preseason, he said, I have to think about a, t- um, a style of play that is suitable for this squad of players. First of all, I don't know if he can play football with these players. And also um, uh, fitting in with the way that Manchester United, the Manchester United ideals. Of course, which all United, United managers have, never, have said that. United have never been a possession-based It's not been team. us, right? When Van Gaal tried to do that, we're going to sleep by 20 minutes of the game. Okay, it's boring. So, so, when, but, so when he took the job, mm-hmm. surely if you're getting interviewed for a job, so you have your... You have your own philosophies, right, of how mm. you play football. Yeah. And the club have, you know what I'm saying, identity. Mm. They have the way the club is known for playing and football. Then the, yeah. you got to and then you have the squad. Personnel, you the have the personnel. personnel. So there's exactly. three. There's exactly. three exactly. elements. There's, there's the club's mm-hmm. philosophy. There's your philosophy. And then there's the personnel of the yeah. people do. Mm-hmm. He, Forget he, his philosophy. He, he, okay, so he and you have to compromise all of them yeah. and build the best style of play to win games and get results. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he took the job knowing everything. He took the job knowing that he's a possession-based manager, like you're yeah. saying. Mm-hmm. United, I've never ever in history been a possession-based team. They've been counter-attacking. They've of played course, yeah, exciting yeah. football. Mm-hmm. And then he's se
He has, he has no, a lot okay, of blame as well. Because now, okay, now, Cause, now you yeah. can't say, oh, I didn't no, know. This course, isn't okay. something no, where it's not damn okay. important. No, not all right, cool. cool. I'm not putting all the blame on him, but all I'm saying is surely he knew all this going into mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So it's not something where it's like... And here's the okay, thing too. And that's I, why he did... Well, yeah, for me, that's why he deserves yeah, credit. No, but that's why he deserves credit because you're right. Everything you said, right, bang on. All those three things, they have to interconnect. Yes. For yeah. Everything yeah. To adapt because you can't get everything you want. He's come in, of course, yes, he's realised the task at hand. But the task at hand... This task at hand requires a lot more than just him. A lot more than just him. Yeah. A lot more than just him. Yeah. Again, we don't have, bro, we, I think we're the only top team in Europe. I think that don't have a board of director or at least a director of football. Well, someone, 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 they're just no, not good. They're just not good. So yeah. just, just Surely look. Surely you have someone. But, don't, no, but, but, but you know what? It's, it's got to be someone who's been, a, who's been a director of football in the past. John Murta is not a director of football. This is the issue He's brought from some part of the club and said be director I agree with what you're saying, 100%. But the issue was Ten Hag wouldn't take this job without him. He literally did not want to take this job unless he had full power over recruitment. So this, you're, you're talking about handicapped, handicapped, handicapped. Yeah. He's the one who put the handcuffs over his hands, bro. No, I like, I like. So he's, no, but I, I agree. agree. I, I don't no, want. He would no. refuse to take this no, job I without agree. having the no, uh, no, but final I, say. I, 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 no, so we can't look, say now. No, oh, the no but no, a manager no. having final say on Travis no. is not new. No, but it's Arteta, yes, it Arteta, is. One second, one second, one second. If Arteta was, that's what I said. That's what I said. I'm talking about having a veto as a manager is not an issue. And him asking for that as a big club, Absolutely, you should yes. ask for that. You can't have brothers Especially rolling up happened, that you in, didn't in, 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 in past in his times. Piece, in I, I, mis- I misspoke Flex. with final say. I meant to say full say because that's what Ten Hag uh, demanded. Yeah. He wants to be in full charge of recruitment. Yeah. He doesn't I don't, allow that luxury. Club, and that, that's what you guys are even saying. We need to direct the football to help him. Yeah. I trust the process if he has someone helping him along the way. At Ajax, he wasn't signing players. Yeah. And, yeah, over yeah, Mars he had, and he had, Van, yeah, Van, yeah, like Van der Sar. Yeah, like Van Yeah, he had so, people yeah. in there that was helping We're giving a guy that already, like I would feel uncomfortable giving any manager in the world full... For, uh, but you know, but Ten Hag especially. No, but I understand why he requested that especially because of what crazy. happened with the previous manager. Of course, that, that was part of it. But again, asking for power and being able to get what you want is two different things. Facts. It's two different things, and I feel like he needs someone to help him facilitate to get who he wants. I feel I like this club are incompetent. They're very incompetent from head to down. They're they're fully incompetent, and that's why it's it's almost coming. It's almost at, it's, it's hurting him. Yeah, it's, and then it's making him look bad. Mm-hmm. Majority of the targets that he's wanted or since from when he's joined till now, oh, he hasn't ballers. really got. He's but had to make do with what. Bro, you know that's what I mean? like, my like, issue. My issue with you saying that I wouldn't give that to Nuggets, but I hear that, and him saying full say that's that's. That, I understand that's a luxury that you have to have a certain level of pedigree to be demanding that. With his recruitment so far, I think there's a myth about saying that his recruitment is awful, bro. I, I think I, it's a myth it, that it, his recruitment. It, it is, it might, so if we look at Sofian Amrabat, that's a player that I rate. I read. You guys wanted Onana. Onana, Le- uh, Onana I wanted. Lissandro Martinez, I'm happy with. Mason Mount, I don't know if. Uh, I know Liban might not be happy with him. I was happy with Mason Mount as a signing. Yeah. I, I don't know if you guys that one. Hoyland, fair enough. I have a point. Yeah. Hoy- Hoy- These are players who, I like so far, other than Anthony, mm. any other player that wasn't bought in for first team level has not been a bad signing, in my opinion. So him having full say, and I, it's, it's, it's like, like Liban is saying, the full say has to be with people getting those people that he wants in. Why? Why we got, we went from Kim Min Jae to Johnny Bloody Evans, bro? Can I ask That's not question, normal, bro. Yeah, and if, if you're a top club, you should have people in place that say you want Kim Min Jae. You're linked with Todi, bro. I was gonna say, but so, yeah, but you can't go from Kim Min Jae. You should have second, third, and exactly. Is, and this is, this and this when you have a when you a have an incompetent right. board, they're not gonna give you but, first, but, second, or third option. They're gonna say, here you go, here you go, Johnny Evans. We'll sign him for you. He looks good in preseason. Abs, this, oh, that's a joke. Abs, this goes back to another point. Should not be like that, bro. Abs, this goes back to another point I had a few a few episodes ago, and a big issue I have this year with Ten Hag. I'm looking at this team, and I what did I say? I said it looks like the team is stuck between two ways of playing, stuck between two identities. Mm-hmm. One half of the squad can play counterattacking football, mm-hmm. and they're great Miss at profiles, playing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say Casemiro in a counterattacking team, that's probably that suits him more. Mm-hmm. Sit deep. He's a destroyer. And, 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 just, yeah, yeah and then yeah. You, people talk about his passing range. He's awful at some passes. One thing I'll give him is like on the break, mm-hmm. quick little flick over a defense. He can do that side of the game. Rashford, transition player. Bruno, transition player. Varane, I would say in a transition team. Uh, Hoyland now, transition player. Mount, I would also say in a transition player. Mm. And then you have the other side of it, where the, the side we were sold with, kind of like the possession style, and uh, Lissandro Martinez, Anthony. Let's go Onana now as well, mm. too. But the issue is, he's trying to play a high line, where we just talked about. Mm-hmm. Lissandro cannot play in a high line, or at least not as well as he can in the deep block. Mm. Trying to play counterattacking. Anthony is a transition killer. And then you have players that also can't play the other side. Casemiro cannot play the way he wants to play right now. Mm-hmm. Juan Bissac cannot play the way he wants to play right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bruno, we, we can talk about Bruno and Rashford because I know they were really hot topics yesterday. Mm. I don't really hold the same belief as Cam, as mm. extreme as he is, mm. but 
I think you can argue too, how effective are they at their very best in an ideal Ten Hag team? Mm. I but think this that's is what I'm saying. So like, right now, he's signing players that suit one style. Mm -hmm. He's extending players and making them huge players for, for a style that, for a completely different style. So I feel like he's almost stuck in the middle. I think, do you know what it is though? With the, with the, you're right. I, I agree everything you just said there. But you see Bruno and Rashford, I feel like the reason why he's had to tie them down is because because he knows he's their he, match winners, yeah, yeah, they're match winners, and he, he can't in this stage right now. The way where we are in terms of transition, he can't afford to lose those right. two. And with I'm, the not, with the out level of output, and I'm not saying regardless I'm, of whether I'm, they I'm, they're I'm not or saying this, sell yeah. Bruno or yeah, yeah, yeah. Rashford. I'm not saying we play yeah. better without them. We should bench them for. I'm no, not saying but I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, I understand why he had to tie those two down because he can't at this point. He can't with the level of output that they they put. They put out regardless of whether they fit in or not. Regardless of whether, like you said, there's a ceiling for them. He can't afford it. Right at this stage. Maybe a year from now, he might decide, you know what? I've got so-and-so coming in now. I don't think I need these it's two anymore. It's impossible for him I'm, to do I'm that. Just saying, it's impossible I'm just for him to do that. No, United, I'm not going to say he, I'm not, I don't know. We, we don't know yet, but I'm just saying. I, I do. I United will not. Bro, United Rashford's contract. He's seeing that out. No, no, yeah, seeing no, no, that no, out. no, no, no. I know, but what I'm saying is. In an right, ideal in, world. In, in, it could, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm trying to say. So we have to, like I said, my thing is this. Ride the storm. Let let us get, uh, we need, let wait for players to come back and just hope that at least for now we can grind out the results. Once we have a full squad and we have a full, full set of players and we've got everybody available, then we can judge and see how, how bad the situation really is. I think right now we're handicapped. Right now we're actually handicapped. Of course, on, and on top of that, off the pitch, I, I, on the I, I, pitch. Yeah, side of me feels sorry because yeah. so many off the field issues. Yeah. You've got Anthony dealing with something. I'll always give him credit for Sancho, that. Sancho, mm, yeah. obviously Sancho, what's going on with that? Obviously he had... Ten Hag's involved in that. Yeah, Green was now made his first appearance in Spain, so he's mm -hmm. playing somewhere else, but he can't play for United. Like, there's so much going on Antti, now. Greenwood, yeah, uh, Sancho, the Sancho, so much, the situation. Ronaldo, I, I, I would, I would never blame yeah, him for that. that. That's yeah. what I'm Maguire, he's done brilliant. Like, yeah, I'm very that, happy that's that's out of his hands. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Then you got the takeover hands. issues. No, yeah. You got the takeover over your head. Your hands are tied financially. This is why I said, Liban, all, 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 up even before the first game of the season, I told Abs, I messaged him, I was like, yo. I, I went on the pod and I said, United are coming third. I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. I said it before ball was kicked. Yeah. And the biggest reason for it is I look around the club, bro. It's a nasty mood it's, around it's the club, horrible. bro. Mm. It's horrible. It is Toxic. a bad time to support Manchester United mm. right now, bro. Mm. Nothing, is, there's not, well, you know, what's not to like? There's nothing to like right now but Manchester <laughs> yeah, United, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, my thing is, my, my only thing is, I'm saying from, I, I, am, I trust Ten Hag more than I trust anyone at the club right now. I'm backing yeah. him more than anyone. The yeah. players, more than the players, more than the club. Yeah. I'm backing him he because he support. showed he has my support fully. Because, and he deserves it after what he done last season. I feel like he that's the minimal he deserves. Yeah. At least a bit of patience. I'm mm. saying as a as a as a fan base, mm -hmm. as forget rival fans. They're gonna make noise. They can do all the noise they want. Yeah, of course, yeah, they yeah, want to yeah. see us flop. Regardless, mm. it doesn't matter who's in charge. It doesn't matter what place we have on I the pitch. I love it. They want Manchester United fail, for, and for of obvious course, reasons. Of you know course. what I mean? We traumatized their whole childhood. So I understand. Course, yeah. So of it's course. I get where the angle comes from, but yeah. for me, is this guy the very least he deserves in this moment in time with everything that's going on around the club, on and off the pitch, patience. I'm just saying, just ride it through. What if he I, ride I just, it I through just the storm till at least to the end of the season, and then we can reassess the situation. He'll, get, he'll be given the end of the season. What if he doesn't? What if he doesn't do as Leo is saying? And he doesn't. And well, he doesn't go be pragmatic and become go into survival mode. What if he then, tries then to? Then I'll be on his side. Mm. A year from now, I'll be on his side. If I'm not talking about a year from now. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying my prediction. Give it to the summer, and I'm seeing if I'm still seeing the same. Sh obviously, hopefully, other things off the pitch get sorted as well. Yeah. With the takeover. Hopefully, that gets resolved. Mm. God knows that's that been dragging help. on, and that's that. The, I'll be real. The, the 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 people that are killing us the most. Yeah. Are the people also the owners? Yeah. Of course, of the course. The owners are absolutely. They yeah, have I no would. interest in this club, mm -hmm. no love for this club. Everything yeah. for this club is about business. It's about financial. It's about commercial. Yeah, you so know, it's, it's, there's been nothing from them, bro. We not, have we had anything from them? Nine months. Anything. Nine months. Anything, bro, when was the last time they made any any sort of information, put out any sort of information about this takeover? I agree. It's a they're joke. They're playing. They're it's playing, a joke. bro. They're treating the the they're treating us like we're, we're with some item on Depot. <laughs> taking it down, putting it back up, taking it down, putting it back up. But like with some sort of no, some toys, a, no, some toys just to put on the mark. It's a Bro, disgrace. It's a disgrace. No, no sort of communication, no yeah. nothing, no news, not even to say, oh, we're, we're actually selling the club. They're, they're not, they haven't We even don't even know through them that they're trying to sell the club. Yeah, we have to the, find the out buyers, from a different loop. The buyers have having to come out and say, no, 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 it's still on There's sale. There's something going we're on. We're finding yeah. out it's information. Like tweet out. They're telling us that the buyers <laughs> are telling us information. That's, listen, that's what happens when you sign a deal with the devil. For me, I agree. And listen, so if the Qataris take over, they're taking the devil off your badge. 
Yeah, you need to get rid of that shirt, uh, little shit. Surely, it's the half. I'm still not over the game. What is this shirt? The devil is this shirt. The kind of sedition. You've lost the plot. I have a question for you guys. First of all, I I agree with you completely. Ten Hag has my support. I'm not saying Ten Hag out. I don't want. But you don't trust him. It's not even that I don't. There's trust still there. I, you just, I you just have trust no. issues. Yeah, I've been I've been hurt so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I, got ten, I got ten years. Bro, people can talk. People can talk. Why don't we trust United? What back? Yeah. Be positive. Be positive. Mm. I have ten years of heartbreak, bro. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. got PTSD. Mm. I'm a broken man. <laughs> I need somebody to wrap an arm around me and then comfort me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, shot, I'm shot. I want Tanak to be I've that guy. I got a place for you. Where are you? I'm in North London. Uh, Hi, bro. You, I think he's already there. I think he's already got. He's already got a house. This is what I'm saying. He's already got. You need to get. You know when jokes, like when jokes are that happen. You need to put an end to the jokes like that, bro. This one. Why are you smiling right now? Why are you smiling right now? The man is right now. Why are you smiling right now, you guys? There's a shot right now of Lias with the Arsenal jersey in the back. You're done. You need to get rid of these clingies, bro. Arsenal is behind you, bro. Look at him. Look at him. He's smiling at you. I'll be honest, yeah. To me, everything about. I've said it before. Everything about you, the way you look at football, the way you see football, it screams Arsenal fan. It, it I'll might, be honest. It, it, it might, it might. It's, but but it's the like, reality is, sad, bro, supporting, but supporting a football club is more than just the way you view football. You guys know this, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's in my blood, man. My dad supports United. I have no choice, saying, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you supporting mean, United... Making him fight but his but su- supporting United is like a drug addiction, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. supporting United is like I'm having a heroin addiction, bro. That's weird, though. Who else is this passionate about a club that they don't support, bro? You just seem like an Arsenal fan to me, man. Maybe the way I view football. But anyways, the question... Get rid of these allegations. This guy's not making it easy for you, <laughs> Get rid of these allegations. Right, the, way, the question I want to ask you guys. Yeah. I got killed on here mm-hmm. for saying United will not finish third anymore. And we all had, mm-hmm. the, I think we all had United third. Maybe yeah. Yeah. United third. Where do you see United finishing at the end of the season? Oh, five games and it's oh, still early. And you early. seem to believe mm-hmm. that things can change. Mm-hmm. How much can they change? I still feel, feel we can finish top four. Yeah. I, I still think they'll finish third. Mm. Third would be, a, it would be, be a difficult. Like, only because there's other teams now that are doing yeah, really Liverpool well. Liverpool, Liverpool yeah, much better team. Yeah, much better team. Yeah. I told you that. I said that to you. Like, you had a better team. team. You had a like, third. No, I'm saying, no, but I'm saying, <laughs> lot, no, but I'm saying <laughs> last year, I said that we finished third, but we weren't the third best team in the league, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. And I feel like- Do you think we can do that again? I think we can. I think we can. Mm. I think we got the potential to do that. Whether we do it or not, we don't. Why? why well, but I, really said last, I said we, this we last season well. right we we right as well. Right right we do have to cover another yeah. nine games. Really yeah. But a couple of other questions. Off back yeah. of last question. Champions League, how are you going to do in your group? Or, oh. We'll get through our group. I'm, I'm, I'm fine I think we'll qualify. I think we'll just about qualify, but it will be it'll be a fight. <laughs> it won't I think be easy. We'll, well, you don't think we'll qualify? I don't know. Speak, your, I mind. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. No, no, don't get to I, I think it's going to be a fight. It's not going to be easy. No, no, I think it's going to be a fight. It's not going to be easy. Like Galatasaray is going to be a tough. Even Copenhagen is going to be a tough. It's going yeah, to be, yeah, tough. Yeah, it's it's be a tough. It's not going to be any hope going away from home that they can get the job done. Do you know what gave me hope? The Arsenal away performance. Honestly, if we could play like that. Genuinely, because you know why as well. That, literally, literally g- g- genuinely, we looked at it, people talking about Rashford right now and how bad he is off the ball. How did he do against Arsenal? He stunk that game. No, but he was running back like crazy. Do you not see him by, doubling by up on Saka every single time? That game, because that game, because it's an inspired performance at Arsenal Emirates. Fact, and exactly, those and those kind of and the other games, no problem. But every I'm other saying, when you're, you see him walking around, Champions League. When you're playing in the Champions League, those are the kind of energy you're bringing to a Champions League game, like when you're playing at the Emirates. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Which is a problem, you won't have the same kind of. It's an issue. It's an issue. I told you about It's an issue that we do that. It's garbage. But one thing I will say, it's an issue that we switch it up. That's a problem. One thing I will say is that I was very confused. Again, I watched the game. Uh, today, because I, mm. I was in Milan for the. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why Rashford was the subject uh, of this game. To yeah, be I, I, First I, of all, I, I his intensity yeah. is not a new thing. It wasn't this yeah, game. That's not brand new. Rashford yeah. has always had, in my opinion, intensity yeah. levels off the ball. But he was our best player in the first half, bro. Mm, yeah. I, Rashford was Everything best player. good that yeah. was happening so, was because of so him. So I think Rashford was scapegoated this game. Mm. I think Casemiro is the one that United fans have to start being honest about. Honestly. Hey, I said that last season. I have to, we have to start being honest about that. Last season, he was good last season because of the way that we were playing. I could see it. Oh, you saw it coming. I said it the podcast is there. I said last season, bro. Yeah, I, said, I, 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 I said I'd cap. I am, man. <laughs> I said I'd cap the United talk to 45 minutes and we, it's been 45 minutes. But really quickly, on a positive note, Hannibal, Medjibri's goal. Yeah, that was a good goal. Good, goal. good finish. Good, good character. But, 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 but as, as, as the youngster, taking, picking the ball up, three no down, Absolutely. picking yeah, the ball yeah, up, yeah, striking. Yeah. Very, very happy. Yeah, yeah. It was I good to see. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, good. Good yeah. Yeah. it's a good thing to see. Sweet for our players to come back, man. All these men were laughing. I'm waiting. Trust me, I'm waiting. And and listen, I'm all about patience. I don't mm. hope you guys fix it and turn around, but you know, mm-hmm. I want to see what happens when they all come back. Yeah. You guys are obviously still saying 
there is still like injuries and stuff. So I want to see what happens when your best team is all together. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm right confident. On. Once we have, a we full will be there. I don't know. Even then, even with, I don't know. I just don't I, see. I, it. I don't. I don't look yeah. at that team and go, wow. Like I generally don't. No, of course. I'm I'm bro, I'm bro, I'm I'm even the best, even the best, even the best. I watch and I'm like, some games. I'm like, that's a team. That's a team that can score a lot of goals. Our best team when they're together can score a lot of goals. Before, before we move on to the next game, is Matt is so sad, and I'm so sorry to any Brighton fans. We didn't even touch on Brighton. Brilliant team. Brilliant manager. We didn't even touch on Brighton. I'm so sorry because it's United emergency meeting. Brighton to get a. Unbelievable result away at Old Trafford. Unbelievable with half your team out. It's stupid. Mm. Tariq Lamptey at left back. What performance as well from him. So yeah, Brighton, unbelievable from you guys. I'm so sorry we couldn't touch you guys. You guys understand why. Uh, quick analysis by uh, Brighton fan, Tactical Regista, who always oh, here we go. Phil sends till. in his- uh, <laughs> first, first three till. words, the Phil The Phil <laughs> There we go. He said, he, said, he, said, he said the Phil Tilt was varied, but Brighton still had the more useful possession. United weren't smart enough with their press to uh, affect the Brighton build-up and they were able to individually isolate United players with passing centrally and overloads out wide. Uh, very excited with Brighton's early season form and don't really see that many teams better than them so far. Pairs. The main negative difference is with how many goals are conceded, which means that Brighton need to improve their transition control. I agree. That's a good point. So yeah, that's mm. that's that's from Tactical Gista, your very own Brighton fan. Yeah. Once again, I think he's an Arsenal fan actually, but he just chooses to talk. He's about an Arsenal fan. He just chooses. Oh, he's, yeah, he just chooses every week to talk about. Yeah, because he said here, yeah, the, he loves it, Brighton. How many goals? It, which means they need to improve their yeah, transition. Yeah, yeah. Not ours. But like, every week he talks about Brighton. He's Arsenal fan, but he's a, yeah. oh, okay. So he's one that sends in Brighton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. knows there's too many Arsenal fans sending you. Like, he's smart. Tactical Gista. He's smart. He's smart. Brighton fans. What do you think of Tactical Gista? Really quickly now, next game is Tottenham versus Sheffield. The latest. Come back in Premier League history. They were one 0 down. I was loving yeah. it. I was smiling. I was enjoying. Ninety eighth minute and hundred and first minute comeback. Two goals. Mm-hmm. First goal, Richarlison, pigeon man scored, and then Kulusevski with the winning goal in the hundred and first. What? Right. Yeah, of course. For Adams, obviously, I think he's on a live stream at that point. Yeah, so yeah. Have, R9. You guys R9 can is see. back. <laughs> you guys can see. R9 me. is back. Um, but yeah, Spurs, cool have got, Spurs, Spurs have got thirteen points from the opening yeah. five games. Thirteen yeah. out of fifteen points. Uh, Undefeated as well. It's the f- their first time ever in the Premier League mm. for them doing that, which is very, very impressive. Mm. Is it Ange Postecoglou hype or is it real, man? No, nah, it's real. Uh, Basuma mm. was unbelievable <laughs> in the second half. Real, yeah. Basuma was unbelievable. Um, the guy is just, they're finally getting what they put, what they paid yeah. for, you know, and he's looking like even better than he was in Brighton days yeah. now. He's actually like dominating the midfield mm-hmm. now at, at, at Spurs. So, listen, man, is this going to last? I don't know if it's gonna last because yeah. at the end of the it day, it might be a honeymoon period. We have to wait and see. That's what I think. Like I said, I'm feeling yeah. seriously. I, I just I look at their squad. I think eventually, like right now, mm-hmm. I keep saying it. Ange Postecoglou. People were upset that he won Manager of the Month because they said, "Oh, Moyes has them mm-hmm. first and City." Ange Postecoglou, guys, let's not forget that everybody had Spurs finishing ninth, tenth, eleventh. We were expecting no Kane. They were gonna sink like a stone, mm-hmm. and he has them looking better than I've seen them in years. So I think mm-hmm. he was fully deserving of that award. And he is the main guy right now. We keep talking about managers are, are the main characters, not the players anymore. He has reinvigorated. You talk about a manager putting not just his identity footballing wise, but like their character on the team. Spurs are a direct uh, indictment of what Ange Postecoglou is, bro. They don't give up. Mm-hmm. The, I, I love listening to the guy talk. He's a leader. Mm. And bro, this, this whole, this comeback, it doesn't shock me. Honestly, Spurs have been absolutely brilliant the first half of the season. I think eventually they're going to fall off a little bit because I think, the players will kind of come down to a, to a mean. I think it could be maybe a wake up call against Arsenal at the Emirates, but they're a great team, man. They're yeah, really fun to yeah, watch. Nah, for sure. It will come for back sure. down to their squad depth, yeah. and and obviously as they've had the transition from this from yeah. last season, what happens is that there's those players who are poor for them have just hit the bench. Yeah, of course. So at the moments where obviously we're talking about United's injury crisis that we're going for right now, obviously we don't hope anyone gets injured, but if they start going through the season and, and, and things begin to happen, suspensions and all this kind of stuff, they will then have to rely on the likes of Eric Dyer, no, no, for sure, Hoybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of stuff. And that's why I think so far the, the challenges they faced haven't been that crazy. Is their squad that, so we'll that bad though? Because off the bench they had Richarlison, obviously Brennan Johnson, Hoiberg came on off the bench, Perisic came on the bench, and obviously got. Uh, got but there's a fall off equality. It's okay. Yeah, it's a drop off. No, but yeah, I feel like a drop off. Like I think. For example, if Romero was to get injured, I think they have a problem. Huge. They have a huge problems. problem there. That's I the think if, if one line. of their midfielders was to drop in and Hoiberg came back in the squad, that's another problem there. I even that. look at their starting 11, to be yeah. honest with you. Like, they've done well. There's yeah. players in form. Still not, yeah. They do not blow me away. And that's not to insult Spurs. One year into Ange's yeah. yeah. tenure. Of course, mm-hmm. the, the squad is not going to be perfect. But I just don't know if this is a team that, like, when everyone is firing around the league, are they the fourth or fifth best team? Mm-hmm. I don't know. 
Yeah. But the football that they play, it's like, brilliant. I, I re- I, like Spurs fans should be quite happy. Like if it was the project that you, any any fan had for their club, yeah, a lot of positives there. Nah, I think online future. deserves a credit Can as well. Can you stop calling him that? <laughs> you need to chill out with calling that brother online. This week is online. He's this had a. Week, he's yeah. had a. This week, this week yeah. you can you give it online. online. You can have online. One week. One week. One He's had a rough few weeks. No, but it was crazy. I was reading this week. They they brought in a psychologist for him. I think he even said, "When I get back, I'm going to speak to someone." Yeah. good for him. And and obviously this week he's had a. I think in that could help him massively. Yeah, absolutely. He's 100%. obviously got talent. Yeah, nah, for no, for sure. Yeah, he's, he's, the club's spent a lot of money on him mm-hmm. everywhere he's been. So obviously, and he's young as well. Still young. What's he like? Twenty four? Yeah. Maybe something like that. I don't yeah, know. I think he's, like I think he's Rashford's age. Like, Rashford I, I think he's Rashford's age. Twenty six. But I think about 25, 25, 26. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he should be. Still, he's still good. Still good age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe his psychologist could help. You know, maybe his psychologist could help. It came at the right. I mean, the goals came at the right time. Yeah, I think the right is perfect. Yeah, yeah. Strikers, you know? it's like that, man. You're judged on one thing and of one course, thing only. As yeah. much as we love talking about hold the play, which is important, and running the channels and stuff like that. If a striker goals. is not scoring goals, bro, like that's their bread and butter. That's their mm. currency. Their mm-hmm. heads are going to drop. So, yeah. yeah, good to see him back. Yeah, he was crying as well in the international break when he, yeah, when he got of subbed course, off. Man. Yeah, so to, for him to now then come and be the match winner. Yeah, good it's, it's, yeah, nice. How would Sheffield United feel about that, man? Oh, Away that was from home. Yeah. to City as well. Yeah. We were yeah. so close. Bro, that the second yellow card for McBurney as well is a joke, man. And I saw the manager speaking after it, heckin' bottom. And he was just losing his head in the interview after. Because mm. he's like, what can you really say to referees anymore? Because yeah. mm. Oli McBurney just says, yeah, the foul might be on, but he's been pulling my shirt. And mm. then he explains that to the referee, got his second yellow card and he's off the pitch. And it's like, what really is the levels of, like, how do they quantify these kind of things the officials nowadays? But, yeah, unfortunate for Sheffield United. 15 yellow cards in one game. 15 yellow mm, cards in that game. Yeah. It's a war. <laughs> <laughs> and not a single one for Romero. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. like Rojo. Remember yeah. Rojo? Rojo, everyone used to think, oh, he's just so, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he ever got this red yeah, card once. One, just mm. once. And he was a hot yeah, There was a few times he should have. Yeah, he did some bad yeah. times. That was Marcus Rojo. Yeah. 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 So many plays, I forgot you guys had. Darmian. Oh man, yeah, I like Rojo. I can't even like him. Schneiderlin. Like he had a bit of yeah. dog in him. He had a dog in him. Yeah, wow. But cutie, but speaking of Romero as well. What would you call him? Cutie, cutie Romero. That's cutie. Yeah, that's, cute. my <laughs> that's my guy. That's my guy. Cutie, cutie Romero. <laughs> call him a cutie still. <laughs> uh, Christian Romero. You can not even know. Christian Romero, yeah, I think compared to the backline that he had last season now, he's looking so much better. And obviously the conversations last season were between who's Argentinian mm. centre-back was better. And obviously I was more than happy with Sandro Martinez as mine. But so far... Um, uh, Romero's had a great start I've always liked Romero yeah. Yeah. I he's like good. him yeah, He's good well, Yeah so what about um, So obviously Kulisevsky Obviously got the mm-hmm. Got the winning goal He got man in the match On well I'm on, on football right now We've got man in the match Do we think obviously The next game is The North London derby We can mm-hmm. touch on it a little bit yeah. At the Emirates right? At the Emirates oh, oh, I think this might be the first no, time In a North prediction. London derby Where it's literally It can go either way that's, I think that's, uh, every, no, that's every North London derby Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was at the window. No, no, I think I think recent times. Like I'm, I'm talking about Emirates, not recent years. Traditionally, no, I'm not not in recent times. I don't think. Yeah, last couple you beat them. That's last, what I'm saying. Like you guys have been very Emirates. comfortably at Emirates. I think this time it could be a tricky sweat. one still. Mm. Yeah. Away from home is where you tend and to have best problems. Thing is, yeah. No hurricane penalty. Yeah, <laughs> that was just a given. That's every a guarantee. No, that's a guarantee. That's new. That's new. That's new. 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 It's a Madison free kick. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, that'll be a bit, that'll be a <laughs> huge <laughs> test for Spurs. Yeah. Can you imagine if they would get a result at the Emirates? It's possible. Oh, We're not we're we're haven't been, gonna be sky high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't been great at home this season. Mm-hmm. You said guarantees. Guarantees. Been, you've been conceding goals. Is what conceding the first goal and uh, yeah, yeah, in the game in the first half. Yeah, yeah. bro, it's, it's, it's possible. Okay. Opening half an hour. Fulham came and got a point. And got something for me. United needed to get 95th minute winner. You know, like. Forest has it been Forest we struggled against first game of the season, so we're not we're not been mm. we're not been incredible. At I home. think you'll be all right though. I think you'll be. I hope. Right. Well, I Ange hope era, right. I'm all in now, Ange, baby. I'm, I'm all into the Ange era. Who I converted Ange, me? <laughs> Ange, Ange the Emirates is gonna be. Let's see how he does, man. This is gonna be his first proper, like his proper proper oh, yeah. test, big proper test. real yeah, big, yeah. big of course, test. Of course, of course, of course. Let's see how he does. Um, couple of notes as well. We got a Spurs fan. Uh, Silver is taken. He said Spurs deserve. Um, the win today with the standouts being Basuma, Madison, Kulisevsky, and Udogi. P.S. When is Ten Hag going to get a sack? Hey, and tell Elias, tell, tell Elias he was right about that United identity because it's been a secret. This is also the latest winning comeback game in Premier League history. But yeah, Spurs he, fans are over the moon right now. Have you spoken to, spoken to Fouad recently? What's he feeling like? Uh, he's happy for the first mm. time in forever. <laughs> his skin is clear. He's smiling. I even see his hairline is starting to push forward a little. This is, this is the beautiful thing about football, bro. It can change your life. <laughs> when United start getting good, bro, I'm rocking up a chain. Skin clear. Right now, bro, my eyes are a little droopy. Yeah. My shoulders are sad. Bro, I need... I need 
New life, bro, honestly. The owners, that's all you need, bro. Yeah, it's gonna bro. change my life. The Arab bro, money's gonna change your life. Bro, that's what I'm saying, man. Even yeah. Sorky, bro, I noticed since Arsenal started getting good. Yeah. Bro, the beard is connecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I was yeah, rough. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> but Before, do the Arsenal, the Arsenal uh, I was in the mud, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was rough. Right, be but this guy will go to his room and just soak. Oh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, just just yeah, do you remember, I remember the times, man? You just yeah, soaked. Yeah, it, it was bad times. Yeah, bad times. Them dark bad winters were like bad times. Now, time. you know, yeah, football. Yeah. What did they say? The day is darkest before the dawn. <laughs> football's <laughs> a drug, man. Football's a dangerous drug, man. It's, it's a dangerous, dangerous one. But let's move on. Obviously, we spent so much time on the United game. We're going to obviously uh, try and get through some of the other games a bit quicker, but we're going to obviously give them their due diligence. But let's head over to the next game, and it is West Ham versus Man City at the London Stadium. Well, before we get into the West Ham City game, what was the, what was the latest news you just saw, Lias, on, on, so, on Twitter? So a reporter on from, I believe, the Daily Mail, chief sports reporter, there has been concerns raised within the club over the increasing involvement of Eric Ten Hag's agent, Keith Voss, in the club's transfer activities. Do you know, I believe this is a club brief, and there was something similar reported earlier in the morning. I know it's not maybe as valid in terms of yeah. the, the validity of him, yeah. but I think the club is briefing this, mm. and I think they're already trying to, to separate themselves from Ten Hag. This is how, bro, every manager, I, no matter what I just said about Ten Hag, every manager gets thrown under the bus at this club, bro. Mm. They always take the yeah. bullets at this club. Bro, I'm tired of my club just being involved in news like this, bro. How many st- updates yeah. have we seen? Oh, Manchester United, here's a or new statements update. Statements of C, bro. Statements of C. Bro, how many statements have you been releasing, bro? bro Anyways, we got some This United <laughs> from, from forever, bro. Right, That's why that comes with being the biggest club. Because it's been United at your best, there's always stuff coming out. But there's things there's coming out and then there's nothing good coming out. Yeah. Like some of the things back in the day was good news. Yeah, but and even back news. in the day, before the era of the internet and just newspapers mm. and that, it was always, mm. whether it was David Beckham and what he's doing with the Spice mm. Girls and all that stuff, or it's mm. Wayne Rooney, what he's up to, whether it's Ryan Giggs, what he's up to. Mm. Like, it's, it's just my United. It's Hated, like, adored, but never ignored. Yeah, United just never, makes ever stories. Ignored. United just makes stories, you know? Yeah. Real you put, Ferdinand, United in, you, know? you, you put us in the title, stories. you get clicks. Of course, facts. This is look one at this video. Look at this, look at this podcast. Hey, there you go. Three million. Yeah. Five yeah. minutes, bro. Yeah, there you go. Anybody trying to hear about Brighton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true, though. It's true, bro. It's true, though. It's crazy. It's facts, though. It's facts. But, but, but let's, let's, let's speak yeah. about uh, West Ham vs Man City at the London Stadium. Um, yeah, 3-1 Man City. Uh, obviously, City ended up getting the away win. Mm-hmm. Four goals. Um, yeah, I mean, that's quite a lot of goals at London Stadium. Most goals I've seen since the Cyberman match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Street. They couldn't get to that level. <laughs> a few yeah. more goals. A few more goals the week before at the London Stadium. Mm. Um, but yeah, three one. West Ham made it one 0 James Ward Prowse, by the way, talk to us. Signing. One of the best signings this season. Talk to us. Oh, he's always been a good. I player, feel though. like he's been there forever. Yeah. He even did this at a celebration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then he did the golf. Yeah, yeah. it's cold. Why do every, why, why like do all these players want to just leave football? They just want to do something different. What do you mean? Madison's playing darts. Yeah. Man, the celebration. These guys go yeah, golf. Yeah. Did they hate ball or something? Hobbies, isn't it? Can yeah, but they say yeah. This, uh, this is my. F- I like this sport more. What was that Drake? What was that Drake yeah, lyric where he's like, "I feel like rap and basketball are entertain, uh, intertwined. They want to be us, and we oh, want yeah, to yeah, yeah, be them." Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true though. That's that's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's an it's, element of truth it, to it's that. It's true, but yeah, James Ward Prowse. Everyone obviously just thinks he's a set piece specialist, but he's scoring diving headers. He's scoring diving headers against Man City. We knew of James Ward Prowse ability, bro. Yeah, but do we know it will be like this instant? This I didn't fit like a glove. I was playing him from like a couple of years ago. One Why is he still not in the top team? Should have signed him. Why is he still not playing for England? There's two words: Gareth Southgate. Yeah. No, but West Ham started that game like exactly like their game plan would be, like how they play well against Brighton. It's just let's just be trying compact and hard to beat. And then they got that goal with Sufal crossing it to, to James Wood Prowse. Mm. And then after a while, the quality is going to end up. If you could, by the way, Haaland had some crazy say, misses in that game. Side, speaking about game. the Simon match, Manny is more clinical than Haaland. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Some yeah. of the misses he from any player would have been crazy. It's crazy. To be yeah. from him. Yeah. And the goal he scored is a mad he's finish. A, he's a, he's a crazy the finish. Is, he's, he's, allowed allowed he's, he's allowed to. Because he, 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 he will always get on the score sheet somehow. So he's an annoying guy. He can afford it. He's going to get bored at some point. Can we take a. I hate moment though well, I to hate do a standing ovation for a real winger. Oh, Jeremy that's a real. Doku. That's a real winger right there. That is a real serious winger. winger. That's a Barclays winger, you know? That? That's yeah. a Barclays winger. Take on that your man. I, 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 side, I, I had, had, outside going I had yeah. tears of joy watching him play, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, the sport has been restored to its origins, yes. bro. Enough of wingers providing balance and tactical setup. It's enough of wingers right. providing defensive uh, balance. And... I don't want to hear any of no. that, bro. That's a pure. This winger. is the can. This is the description. Yeah. If you're a winger, give hell to your fullback. Back Simple. Yeah. He did yeah. it, bro. Simple. This is what it's about, man. Jeremy Doku, welcome to the Premier League. Do you think that? Do you think? Do you think he will? Um, 
continue to be like that. Yeah, that's the kind of player he is. But bro. I yeah. think he's gonna get no, mad you know, every time. Yeah, sometimes over time you have coaches that sort of um, not necessarily because I feel like with with Pep Guardiola, not that he coaches them out of it, but like he makes them more effective, efficient, effect, yeah, efficient, 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 efficient. Yeah, yeah. And I think right now, obviously, he's, he's just come into the team. He's still got his own his rawness. Hat, his rawness yeah, and yeah, Doku is yeah. a very raw player. Do you very, think that? Do you think Guardiola might? Compromise a little bit on that because there were times where I felt like he overdid it. Of course, he was overdoing it. He was overdoing it. So I I think there's gonna be times where Guardiola might have to sit him down and be like, you know what? Absolutely. The reason why he brings him in is for the options as well. He can have someone like Jack Grealish. Let's not let's not act like Jack Grealish is a bum. That guy is very very good. And he had all these certain teams. In terms of terrorizing fullback, Jack Grealish was the guy. No, he was. He was. In a different way. In a different way. But he used to give them hell. Was a player for a reason. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so it'll be certain opposition where they needed the profile of Jack Grealish and then Jeremy Doku. I miss those days, man. I miss those days, man. Like you said, to have those options though, where it's like depending on the game you're playing, I can play Doku today or no, I play Grealish. Grealish, yeah. That's crazy. It's nuts. And in 60 minutes, play him and then you have Doku. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, you can play 60 minutes. But do you know? you put Barrado Silva on the wing, bro. Yeah, but do you know who I really? Think deserves his flowers, and I, for some reason he always goes on the radar. Exactly what I'm gonna say Julian, Julian Alvarez. Alvarez. You know that guy. Player, that is a world class player already, in my opinion. That is a world class player at that age. Can we throw that word around. No, 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 no. That is for me, bro. That's sometimes crazy. you know, sometimes you just look at a player and you just, you just know no, that no, guy. That guy is going right to the top. Unbelievable. He's got it. He's got free kicks these days now, bro. bro he's doing a free kick. He's, 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 he's got, he's you know, this, but he's got like, when I look at his game, I don't see weaknesses. No. Give me your weakness. Uh, and, and you know what's the best yeah. thing about him it's too? And it's I was like, like Harry went to my Lampard, didn't it? No, yeah. no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. He was yeah. going right yeah. to this very I'm telling you. I'm going to in front of him, but <laughs> yeah, this but that, guy will go right to no, the very but, but I'm, I'm serious. Like, bro, from- He just from want to travel in the World Cup. He didn't go to the top. No, but- No, but- Bro. He's going to the top. No, but- No, but- No, but- No, but- No, but- How many plays do you have? Okay, but- He's going to turn out- No, no, but look. No, but how many- How many How many plays do you see coming off from 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 that side of the world? Yeah. Coming to the Premier League. So Okay. Aguero came from La Liga though. We Carlos, Carlos Tevez. Oh, Tevez. Oh, like, oh, the club straight, South straight from yeah, Argentina, yeah, bro, yeah. into the Premier League. Tevez and is really the one I can remember. Tevez, yeah. yeah. Tevez, yeah, that's, a, that's a great company. Yeah, company, yeah, but yeah, I'm saying, no, no, of course, you, you, you have to be unreal. I think Alvarez, he is unreal. Yeah. What he I was going to say, similar about World uh, Word Pros, obviously, I think yeah. to a different level. Of course, yeah. But I always say football sometimes, bro, we overanalyze it. And I think sometimes it's a very simple sport. And Alvarez makes the game look very, very simple, bro. He's not very, like, but flashy. He's not yeah. very like extravagant, but he just has great fundamentals, mm, bro. So good. A great ball striker. Good decision great making. Great IQ. Yep. Good decision making. Left foot, right foot. Mm -hmm. Great positioning. He's just a really top player, bro. And I think yeah. sometimes we look too much at like, oh, what can he do? Can he do this? Mm -hmm. He's just eight out of 10 or above all yeah. across the board. The and scary he's thing. one of the best coach in the world. Yeah, well, the yeah, scary thing about him is that he has all of those things and he's still so young. Yeah. So I hear why Levi is here because imagine he gets maturity alongside of this and he ends his, his physical peak. Yeah. This is gonna be a problem and for the everyone best thing in the world, for him bro. too. Which some people thought would be an issue was, oh, he's playing under Haaland. so is he gonna have much time to yeah. shine? Or I think the, the best thing about him, him is that, bro, he no one pays attention to him really. Yeah, no. they, they, all they, the attention is yeah, on Haaland. Yeah. and then yeah. he gets yeah. in there. And and he has just, no, there's no pressure on him to develop too quickly. Yeah. There's no pressure. If he was at United, for example, we'd yeah. be on him every single day. Yeah. Can he score this much? You signed him for this much money. Why is he not giving me goals and assists? Well, he is a player that we passed on. Yeah, he is a player that we passed on. Yeah, but he's under the perfect yeah. environment to succeed. Ah, for yeah. sure, yeah. for sure, he is. He and like you said, that pressure. He doesn't have to necessarily get the goals either. Yeah, really and truly, like, and, you, and he still does. I and think. He he, I think. Yes, what three assists was the? Yeah, three assists in five games this season. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Like he's, he's, yeah, unreal, unreal talent. Yeah, he's already got a goal against well against uh, winning goal against Newcastle. Yeah, unbelievable finish. What a I, I don't want to say it, well. but. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to start comparing him, Saka. We're gonna have to start looking at that one. We have to. Wait, what? Why yeah. would you compare him to Saka? Wait, we have to start looking at that one. What? We have to start saying who is. We have to start talking about who's the best right wing in the league. Because I thought that's all Arsenal. He's, he's playing, playing, right, playing right wing. Yeah, yeah but he has to be playing on the right side. Though. He's been playing on he's the right side. Behind the striker. Yeah, yeah but he's, he's been drifting, so drifting out wide to, to the right. Like. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, hey, the, the, the Bruyne drifts out that wide. That is a yo, bro. That's where does he occupy? No, but where does he occupy? But on the pitch, okay. But on the pitch, where is he occupying? There's a lot of the spaces where is he occupying on the right side. The Bruyne, the Bruyne, the Bruyne drifts to the right. A lot of people don't occupy the spaces that they actually play. Okay, where you, where you? No, but if you're saying in terms of young players who are achieving, I'm with you. I'm saying. I rate this guy. You're hating it. 
on a different it's, level. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> but no, it's incredible. No, but no, no, God, God, God. God. Come on, man. You guys got a bracket though. Um, oh, you guys got a bracket though. <laughs> but listen, no, but I'm saying, obviously, like, where your where your position and where yeah. you the spaces you occupy can be two different things. You can oh. have a you can you can play a position but have a different yeah, role. Kevin De Bruyne is yeah, the right yeah, winger right, though. Right. Yeah. No, but I'm saying on the right side, I, I, yeah. need, I need to push that agenda. Come on, <laughs> I, hear it. I don't know where you're starting. You're starving. You find a picture. You got agenda. We need agendas, man. I hear it still. Yo, Julian Alvarez, come on, man. Push push for that one. He's looking for another one. Nah, nah, Alvarez, nah. Alvarez, my boy, man. Alvarez, my boy. Zach, man, man I'm on to you. <laughs> You're down a thousand <laughs> points, bro. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. You, would, you would love Bukayo. I, I, right I love Bukayo. I actually like Bukayo. You, stop, I told you, stop, I told you. stop, stop, stop. I told you this, though. You don't love Bukayo. I've told this guy. I like, I like Bukayo. How many times have I told you I like Saka? How many huh? times? How many times have I told you I like Saka? <laughs> How many? Can I one? I don't know. <laughs> See, yeah, now I'm like, cool, fair, say nine. <laughs> when? Niggas are say when, nine. When? When? So what happened to City? I like, I like Saka. I always, I always, I like his game. She's I, I hate because crazy. he plays for Arsenal. He's making me sound crazy. You like him? Of course I like so him. Huh? Nah, okay. My friend likes you. Excuse my friend likes you. Yeah. Little yeah. 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 one. Little one. Excuse me. In primary <laughs> school. In primary school. <laughs> and then she looks so nice. My guy. And then the over there. We'll show that show. My friend over there likes you. And he's like, she's shy. Don't worry, man. I'll tell it for you, man. Don't worry, man. I'll tell it for you. I'll tell it for you. Don't worry. She said I like Saka six times in a row. Tell what I did to you. I like it. Tell her. Tell her. Nah, man. I like it. I like it. I like it. Nah, nah. It's a good player, but why we talk about Saka? Well, West Ham versus City. But yeah, so three one. Harlan did eventually get his goal. He missed so many chances, but he got his goal in the end. And obviously, all the FPL managers, he's got everyone's got Harlan. They got their points in the end. Mm. Uh, Bernardo Silva also scored. You wanted to make a point about Aguero's defending on that goal, didn't you? I thought it was awful defending. That was someone that when we he did our- too early, ball and over his head, Bernardo Silva. We did our, what, best 11 outside of the top yep. six. And mm. I think I was one of the few that put Aguero. Mm. But let's be honest, if any top six defender uh, contributes with that action, yeah. bro, he's on the timeline getting destroyed. Yeah. Mm. Getting destroyed. Yeah. So I think he- this is what this yeah, is really where we talk about like oh the pressure of playing for United the mm, pressure of playing yeah, yeah, yeah. like that error at United gets magnified sixty times over mm -hmm, yeah for, for sure. sure no 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 you're right well, well, that's the way it happens when you're a big club in the world oh, let's go go on of course yeah, I mean no more okay don't worry I just want some water man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try it. it's calm it's calm it's calm it's calm it's calm it's calm it's calm, it's calm. Have it. Some water, have it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Get the man some damn water. Somebody get out some water, man. Take the water, man. Take the water. Man. Take the water. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like, he's losing his hand over there, back there. I got to get the guy some water. Where's the water? Who put the water? The guy said he said my name. Why do I have to give my water, bro? What's going on, man? <laughs> I just wanted to. Like, hurry up, give me some water, man. Until I can't have my water. Go back. Go back. Yeah. <laughs> But um, uh, quickly, yeah. staying on City, um, obviously, big news for them. It was weird though, and Kyle Walker's announcement. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. I know the transfer yeah. is closed. They really, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they really <laughs> wasted that <laughs> elite of, of a transfer announcement or yeah. a signing announcement on Kyle Walker, bro. Yeah. No disrespect yeah. to Kyle Walker, but bro, no one thought he was leaving, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were going to leave, it would have been two weeks ago, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was Save weird. that for if Erling Haaland rejects. And, 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 and he, did, he didn't say the line fully as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he didn't commit to it. Exactly, exactly. He didn't commit to it. And the thing is, now no one can use that anymore, bro. They should have waited. Like, Imagine Haaland in a few years, he rejects Real Madrid. Yeah. That's the way they. That's the way City fans find out. Yeah, Kyle Walker. Right? Oh, yeah. No one was losing City fans. Oh, come yeah. on, man. Yeah, I think you push for that as well. I don't think <laughs> the club's yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I want to do it. I want to do it, man. <laughs> yeah. like, nah, you're good, bro. Nah, I want to do it. I want to do it, man. Come on, please, man. It's a good idea, man. It's in the bank. It's in the bank. It's gonna get numbers. That's what he's talking. Just chill out, man. You're a grown man. You're a fan too. It was dude, good. It was good, bro. Just like. Come on, Kyle. Okay. Like. Like, it, it was good, but I don't know. I think you tried good. to get other players on it. They're like, move, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they got that old clip of them and celebrate the title. They tried, oh, to, yeah. they tried, to, they tried to get them the, the together. They're like, so they had an audience there. Yeah. No one's reacting. You know, no you messaged the group chat. Yo, man, we're going to do a little video thing. Ed. <laughs> no, no replied. No one replied. No one replied. <laughs> Hell of people saw the <laughs> message. Yeah, But yeah, let's, let's, let's hear from some um, City and West Ham fans. Wahid, the City fan, says, I'm impressed with the level we're playing at without Stones, KDB, and Jack. Uh, Walker and Julian have been amazing for us all season. Um, five BCMs, big chance missed for Haaland. He's cashing in all that XG versus Arsenal. Don't worry. Yeah, we got Crazy. them soon. We got them like week after next. I have a hot take. Go, Go on. on. 
I think City are better this year than they were last year. Yeah, no, that's not even a hot take. No, but I think what well, we all three of us had City, had Arsenal take. winning the league. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, it yeah, might yeah, still yeah, happen. <laughs> but I think oh, the, the way they're playing, the reason for that, that was because yeah. we thought City were going to have a kind yeah, of yeah, no Gundogan, no Mars. I got that wrong. Still, I think. But I got it. We got it wrong. But I also think they impressed more than I thought they were going to in the window. They have made some great signings, mm-hmm. and they might not have the reputation, the name of the players they're replacing. Yeah, but yeah. they're younger, perhaps mm-hmm. hungrier, and they're still damn good players yeah, too. Yeah, bro. yeah, for Doku, sure. Goku, Gvardiol, uh, Mateus Nunes. We haven't even seen him too. Kovacic. He yeah. came on at the end against West Ham. I don't think they're gonna match the achievement they did last season. Though. Maybe that's not. Why, yeah, that's, I, I, that's, I, why, that's why. I don't maybe think they're not. Do. But yeah. yo, I think from seeing scary. them, obviously, yeah, when nah, we seen sure. them, I remember when I said after I saw the Burnley game, I was I was already convinced like this this team just looked like because you see after a treble, you've hit the heights. You've yeah. not you're not getting higher than that. You can only get a quadruple. That's more than that, right? Mm. They've come into the first game and they look like they're nothing much to change from the team. I was like, yeah, this team's gonna win the league again. And obviously, I understand why you guys thought about Arsenal and obviously how well they did last I think season. It still, it still could happen, by the yeah, way. No, of no, course, no, it could. No. Of course, it could. But obviously, what, what the yeah. issue in that Burnley game was they still hadn't signed those yeah. those issues. So then now they go yeah, out true. and they grab Mateus Nunes, yeah. then they grab Doku, and they grab no, I And I just I just look at that team and I just say that's the, the best. The, team the in thing the with them again. too is like we always talk about the attackers, the attackers, the attackers. Guys, yeah. City are the best defensive team in the world by yeah. Yeah. by far. Yeah. By the way, yeah. not even close. Yeah. Defensively, Pep has made these guys almost impossible. Like. Again, this might be a hot take. Bro, if anyone is going to break Chelsea's 15-goal record, I don't think they, they're going to do it. But if anyone's going to come even close to it, it's City, bro. See, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, um, I was saying to Shocker yesterday, like, it's almost like a role of... Uh, a a reversal role, reversal, like, where yeah. they haven't had the greatest start, but they're still really touching distance. I still think like Arsenal... Got, I still think Arsenal, in terms of depth, got the best squad. Depth-wise, I think they have the best squad in the league this season. Maybe. So, I think... Yeah, maybe. It's, it, I'm more impressed with the fact that Arsenal, not playing to their maximum... And still within touching distance, yeah, obviously, I think when they do hit their full gear, then that's when you're gonna really start to see uh, but I think a, it's real, a real fight between. No, the but two I think it's scary yeah. when we see City oh, start well. That's true. This guy had love in his eyes. Oh my god! You had lo- you're done. Do you not see what he just did? What, what is, is it? He's living his lips. <laughs> <laughs> now he's talking about my friend <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the friend over there. Well, well, like, that's you the friend over there. How do you argue? Even saw your friend. He's rubbing his arm as well. Yeah, you're nuts. Yeah, you're. I'm wearing the headphones, so I can hear. You're hearing him. And like, nah, that's, that's, you're talking. You're turning on. Yeah, yeah, I'm turning on it. You're saying all the you're right turning things, turning. bro. You're saying all the like, right things. Like, you're guessing hard. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. Basil. laughs> you're saying all the right things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think yeah. it's scary if City are starting this well. That's, that's the thing too. Yeah, bro, if also, City are yeah, starting yeah. this well, we don't yeah. know them to drop levels. Nah, when they definitely not. Yeah. 16 points from 15, for sure. Scary, yeah. scary um, 55 Hems, the West Ham fan says, if you told me before the season started, that West Ham would have 10 points after the first mm. five games, considering the yeah, teams we were versing. Mm. Yeah, they played Brighton, they played Chelsea, Man and they beat both of them. Man mm. City now, obviously they, 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 they lost, but they played Brighton um, away, and they played Chelsea along with Bournemouth and Luton, and it's their first loss all season. Yeah, it's They're crazy. 10 points out of 15. Um, what is that? We need to apologize. To I would them, take you know, that as a collective. Oh, a massive apology. As a collective, yeah. still. I, I would thought take they were that done. Yeah. After yeah. Yeah. Still. So it's not upsetting. Yeah. Uh, this loss isn't upsetting. Of course, of course. Quick shout out to Ariola because he's been amazing. Oh, since brilliant. He's been, he's been brilliant, brilliant bro. Four, say, like, I think it was four Couple snapshots in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Another brilliant. great performance today. There are positives to take away. Like we were one nil up at half time. Mm-hmm. And another James Ward Prowse goal. Also a solid defensive showing in the first half. Against a relentless Man City team in the first half, they won the yep. up. There was a lot of chances. It's true. Was it? I yeah. think they, I think they, they showed some great guts. But let's be honest, Haaland, bro. If any if other day, playing, yeah, West Ham yeah, could have yeah. been done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I respect West Ham. They've done, like you said, they've done brilliant to this point in the season. Yeah, much better than I thought they were going to do. Mm-hmm. But City missed some sitters. City, here, they, they, City, they City yeah. could have very easily run away with this, bro. Yeah, definitely, for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Next game, we go over to Goodison Park. The ground which has haunted us Arsenal fans. Many, many years. Mm. The last time we got a win there, Wayne Rooney was playing for them. 2017. He scored in that game. That's how long it was, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, we haven't won there. You know, I think I think Ronald Koeman was their manager last time we won there. Mm. Since then, we played against, I think, Marcus Silva. We played against... Um, Allardyce. Uh, yeah, uh, who Ancelotti. else beat us? Ancelotti, Rafa, yeah. Sean Dyche last season. Mm-hmm. We haven't won. Yeah. And let alone haven't won. We lost all of them. We only drew once. We yeah. drew in the last since 2017 when we last beat them. Did Duncan Ferguson we, give you all that work we, too? Yeah. <laughs> they will start what? <laughs> we drew, yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's been straight losses. Yeah. Like they're yeah. beating us. Yeah. To the point Big where dunk, last season, know. last season, it was they just sacked Lampard. Sean Dyche's first game beat us. And this is Arsenal league winning form Arsenal yeah. when they beat mm-hmm. us. Season before that, 
Rafa Benitez was on a 13 game non winning streak. We went there, we went to the gas. <laughs> Proper Beat bogey us. team, wow. proper bogey team. Smoked us, Damari Gray. That's a bogey stadium. Damari Damari Gray. Oh, I remember that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Charleston could have scored a hat trick. Had two goals walled off. Oh, remember Obama God. Yang the last minute? It was his yeah, last yeah, touch yeah. as an Arsenal Eddie player. Eddie Nketiah played yeah, him yeah. through. Oh, my it's his God. last ever touch as an Arsenal player. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, next game against Southampton, he didn't even make the bench. The guy they sent his ass packing. Straight away. So here's Everton and careers. That's crazy. So I'm terrified. Give us some good spot. I'm terrified. Yeah. So yeah, we go into this game, and I'm not going to lie. One of the most boring games I've watched in my life. so bad. One of the most boring games I've watched so in my life. So bad. Yeah. You know, because we, we, we went out after, mm -hmm. but like I had to watch the game first. I yeah. couldn't leave my house before I finished the game. Yeah. I, I almost fell asleep twice. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> Me, the game. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. It was yeah. like, I don't know, like, but I get it. Obviously, it's one of the most we struggle, but it was like, there wasn't nothing going on. I, I was shocked. But if we go from the start of the game, two big changes. Mm. Raya starts. Yeah. Habits on the bench. So Rams don't have us on the bench. Raya started obviously get the clean sheet. What are you guys thinking as non-Arsenal fans with the whole Raya Ramsdale situation? I know a lot of fans are like, this doesn't work. It's never, this is not going to work. Some, um, people, some people like it. What are you guys thinking about the whole Raya Ramsdale situation? I think that Arteta's, uh, like obviously Arteta's being so coy in interviews. He's obviously trying to dodge it and not trying to I like to his crazy. answer though about, what is it? Fa people then uh, like, Fabio I thought it was Vieira. funny when he's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, what number is Fabio Vieira? Yeah, that kind of cringed me out a little bit. I, I can't really lie, like I, that, I thought it was a smart mm. answer. But, but even like, I hear what he's doing because he's obviously not trying to um, speak about it directly. I think Ramsdale possibly this season might be his, his last at Arsenal. I think he they could be rotated. Today. Did you bro, see I saw the yeah. links to Chelsea already, bro. They're, saying, they're looking, saying teams around Europe are already starting to look at Ramsdale. They're looking, looking at the situation the for one, one game. game. It's crazy, but that's obviously, it shows, that's, to be fair, what that does, it shows, it shows, it shows how, how, how he's rated as well, how he's valued as well. But I think Arteta, I think uh, the yeah, way but Arteta not, was- But do you not just think, because obviously it's big games after, I mean, we had Everton away, always a tough game, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. for anyone, obviously mm -hmm. even more so Arsenal, but also um, Champions League midweek mm. and then Spurs on the weekend. Yeah, Ramsdale, Ramsdale was never going to play all three of them. Of course. Why? Why? I mean, it's a goalkeeper. Okay, yeah. If he was your number one keeper, he's playing with yeah, but I'm saying, No, no, but I'm just saying like all three of them, bro. Brother, he'd stay, bro, a goalkeeper, even, even, your you know, number one keeper starts all the yeah, time. Yeah, bro. I, I you know, the, di the, le the dilemma is that you, is that's okay. Bro. Ryan might have played Champions League then. Yeah. No. It would have been either Ramsdale. That's why, that's why him playing right now in a away against Everton, a big game, I just trusted him. We'll have well, to see. You could have played at home against PSV. No, the thing is, For you real? have two uh, number one goalkeepers. That's the problem. And it might not be a problem. Some, 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 some argue yeah, that. Yeah, some some my, argue that. No, it's not a problem. Goalkeeper is one position where it, you it, have a clear it, one, it, a clear two. You have two, to have a clear one and a clear two. But whereas with these two, you could even some can even argue that Ray, Ray, Ray is a better goalkeeper than Ramsdale. It reminds me of I when Barca. Bar so. The only time I can ever rem remember something similar to this was when Barca had uh, Ter Stegen and Claudio Bravo. And if yeah. you remember, Claudio yeah. Bravo played all the games in the league. Mm -hmm. Ter Stegen played all the games in the Champions League. To your point, I know you're trying to validate it. It is bizarre, right? Like it, it, there is no like you're saying. Oh, why would he play all? Th Every goalkeeper plays all three games. Mm -hmm. That's just the reality of it. But one thing I will, I will have to say is like. Right now, it's kind of looking like a, a, an insanely smart decision because of the form of Ramsdale. And now, all of a sudden, imagine Ramsdale wasn't uh, Raya wasn't there, and Ramsdale was kind of in this poor form. You kind of just have to, to, yeah, to, to sure. ride through it. Yeah, so, yeah, like yeah. a striker, you just replace him with yeah. a striker. Yeah. So it's actually turned out to be a really smart decision by Arteta, whether it's luck or whether he planned this all out and he expected a, a decline from Ramsdale. Because now Ramsdale is in poor form. You can bring in a great number two goalkeeper yeah. like David Raya. And to this point, David Raya might be better than Ramsdale. I don't think David Raya is number two. And I, for me, mainly the reason why is when the, when, he, when he was getting signed, just seeing him there when he was there with his family. <sighs> These are nuances, but the fact that he's just there talking wow, to his well, uncle, well, course, talking in Spanish to him. Yeah, but they, they might they be boys. Like they've they done, they done that with other players. I think done that with Arsenal. The played for Blackburn yeah, and Brentford. You yeah. make a move to Arsenal, whether it's loan or not. No, Your facts. whole family, we made it. So we made mm. a moment. Absolutely. Like, but I'm saying just the relationship. Yeah. And also, when Arteta saying as well, he was talking about how um, I, will, uh, I don't have the courage to take off a goalkeeper. I think he was saying that as well. I, yeah, I don't yeah. have that courage as a manager just yet. All of these things, yeah, it all sounds, yeah, yeah let's be yeah, let's yeah, mystique about you, it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That's a bit mystique about it. For me, I think that he's phasing, he's, he's already uh, phased out Partey. I know Partey's been injured recently. I feel like he's been phasing out Partey for Rice to be yeah, in yeah. DM. I get that though. Possibly Ramsdale could be the next that be phased, for that, that's phased out. And to be fair, if I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm not minding too much. Whoever MC, I MC believe MC. is the right man making decisions. If he picks Ram Raya, he picks Raya. It's a good problem to have. That's not an issue. Like, yeah. I mean, what's the, what's the problem? I don't I see don't a bad, I don't see a bad problem yeah. with that. I know some people you are saying, mean? oh, it's not a lose. Line line. Not a lose. I, I'm with you. I definitely don't see a problem. I just don't know if it was, like it was completely necessary. But like I said, whether it's by luck or by 
this was how it was always going to turn out. Mm. It's a great decision at this mm. point. Yeah, for sure. And I'm with you, bro. Yeah. I, mm. I'm not a huge fan of Ramsdale. Yeah. Really. I, yeah. I like my goalkeeper to have a bit of poise about him. And I always feel almost similar to Pickford. And when, when Ramsdale is in Some goal. Mistake is coming. He's, just, coming, he's yeah. too jittery. And I feel like that kind of, you don't want your goalkeeper to be jittery. Because I feel like that kind of like. It transcends into the yeah, team. Yeah, so sure. I've never been completely in love with Ramsdale. I do admit that, bro. He's had some huge moments for them. And last so year, he's he saved them at Anfield. He, he, he is capable of Villa, the extraordinary. Villa away as well. Mm-hmm. But at the also, same time, Southampton game is costly as well. But my point is, well. Pickford is also uh, capable of that. I would never feel yeah. comfortable with Pickford at my yeah, club. Exactly. So, I don't know. I, I like Raya. I, I, I think Ramsdale is good, though. Ramsdale, Onana, similar kind of goal. He's definitely yeah, not, you, ba- he's definitely you, not you, bad. He's definitely not bad. lost your damn mind. What do you mean? Onana oh, can't save a shot to save his life. Oh, no, no. That's not it's true. Not, it's, not, it's not a good That's time for us true. to defend Onana. Yeah, right. Right. defend Onana now. How comfortably defend him, bro? He's a better goalkeeper than both your goalkeepers. This guy, since then, ain't look good for me. And Raya's got one of the best sidewinders in the Premier League. Yeah, cold. That. So, bro, unbelievable. Bro, it's his range, so his Ramsdale, range is crazy. Used to be nah, but, strength but, too, but Ramsdale, yeah, exactly. He can pick but, Martinelli's nose. Yeah, but my point about Ramsdale, not this season. <laughs> yeah. This I season, guess. Ramsdale's passing has been shaky. Bro, he's I been think. poor this I year. I think his passing is declining. I know it's a I good think, thing. Yeah. You know, I've seen no, this coming. Do you think has Raya there? Man, no, but do you think yeah, that, that, that nervousness is because he's looking over his shoulder? No, I think he's always been like that for me. Do you not think it's more prominent now? How bad his form is? I think the nerves, you're seeing it more now than here. And you see, saw it last. He's breathing down your neck. <gasps> like maybe he's saying, "Yo, like I can't afford to make it." So maybe he's playing on his mind. If I make one mistake or have one bad game, he might take my place. So I yeah, feel like sometimes that's, that's why that goalkeepers can, you need yeah. to have a clear one, a clear two. This is why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always, I always do say this to stay consistent. Oh. I've always said this: competition breeds success. Mm-hmm. So if. Ramsdale is, is phased out. Yeah. It means that David yeah, Raya right. also is exactly. a top goalkeeper. Whoever, so. whoever yeah. gets survived no loss after that, you guys going to become lost. better. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But the way it's looking, it is looking towards. Why? Uh, Raya's played one game. It's not looking like anything yet. Why? 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 Everything right now is favoring Raya. So, like, the form of Ramsdale, obviously. He's shining new toy as well, too. Fans will always decide that. The key is who plays North London Derby. Okay. I think he'll go for Ramsdale. I think it'll be Ramsdale. If he picks Raya, that's the normal keeper, lah. At that point, it has to be. That's, yeah. that's him saying this on number one. That's what I if want. Ramsdale plays midweek against yeah. PSV, and, and then Mane plays it yeah. North London, because then it's done. The yeah, you're yeah, right. right. We need some for, time to be clear on it. One thing true. is for sure. Arteta cannot go one game, this guy, one game, this guy, one game, this guy. No There's no way he can it do will, that because that will them. actually ruin the No, no, I don't yeah, think he yeah. will, but I'm saying yeah. the, the competition is different. That's why. Because I'm, yeah, I'm with you guys. If you place him at White Hart Lane, Emirates, excuse me. Yeah. Then I believe that he's the goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact, I don't even think it's called White. It's what Tottenham. It's Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a sponsor yeah. quick. Bring back White Hart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have a name. How the yeah, hell? They do. They do. He's Whiskey and Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> NFL. <laughs> NFL. 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 And NFL. That's it. That's it. That's because it's yeah. That's what it is. But uh, going into the game, obviously we didn't we didn't end up winning one 0 but we did score before that. Martinelli. There was a controversial offside decision. What did you guys think about that? Not offside. I don't know the rules. So Gabriel, mm. so so yeah. Gabriel's trying to pass it across yeah. to probably Saliba or whatever to the mm. right side. Beto comes to intercept it, hits his shin and goes back towards his goal. Yeah. Eddie. I always believed if it comes off the other player, it's he's not offside. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I always believed. Yeah. Obviously, rules are always I think it's weird. intention as well. Of course, but then that's I, I'm, I'm hearing yeah. then I was watching yeah. it, people said intention. intention yeah. So it went that way. Mm. Eddie, cool. Even that when it got to Eddie, there's only showed one angle. Yeah, Even that's if the intention was the yeah. one angle, yeah. I think if they 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 showed it from side angle because where it was a Mikalenko. Yeah, yeah. It, it looked like he was because they went it from his back and not yeah. the back. I don't foot. I don't like the idea of that. The I don't know Why if it's a new one, thing now, but they're only looking at one. I don't right. like that. So even that's because you can look at a different angle well. and it can look. They believe in the grind, bro. No, it's true, it's true, it's true. <laughs> but it happened with Ganache. Yeah, They showed that one angle. You look at it from any angle, it might look different. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, but then again, again. I don't know what their angle because is they in say terms of is they don't want to throw more yeah. doubt I don't know yeah, don't outside know. is subject uh, is, yeah. yeah that's what the time I'm saying so make it openly clear it, it's, it's weird like, do you remember the World, yeah, yeah. World Cup thing that they did as yeah. well the World Cup thing where they have the, the like the AI thing that comes in I think Serie A I saw them do it as well it just makes it clear beyond any doubt. It just comes across it and it has one angle and it shows this person the part right. of their body. You're offside. either on or you're off. Yeah. But in the VAR room, they got like 500 different. Screens. And I don't know why so they don't, don't look at one. They, 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 they got a gym in there as well. Have you seen yeah, Harold Webb took him around. Harold Webb took him around. He, he, he got a crazy facility. Yeah, he's trying to get the job there. Yeah, it's crazy. Have you seen it? Crazy. I'm gonna have to do the VAR job then. I'm gonna have to do the VAR thing. Yeah, just like a bench press and jump on the other side. Yeah, like that. Quick one, I say, yo. I'm starting. Yeah, you actually do that job if I get if if we find a way to get you. Yeah, that I'll do it for work experience. Yeah, good work here. One week, fifth minute. Bro, that's no point. Bye, everybody. Just don't, don't. He's already out. I'm done already. 
life. But don't, 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 crazy don't, don't put me on your United games, though. <laughs> yeah, you put me on his long. <laughs> so Stevie Wonder, suddenly Stevie Wonder. He's going, he's going, Howard Wonder. I'm just as famous as my mentor. But that's still a boss, don't get sent for that. I'll do that. I'll do that one. That wasn't offside. That wasn't offside. <laughs> I'll do that one. I'll do that one. Yeah. <laughs> lie, this guy's hey, though. The spirit of Fergie, we bringing it back. Oh, we bringing it back, bro. I'm telling you. Get me on the payroll. Get me on the payroll, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, no, no. The facilities are crazy. <laughs> the facilities are crazy. They did a whole video of Sky Sports. <laughs> right is on the wall. <laughs> Bro, yeah, they they got proper facilities, bro. Gym, that's crazy. Everything, bro. That's like, mental. Still. And then they got the, the craziest technology. Yeah. The, the the seats are comfortable. Yeah, everything. And they, they still get it wrong. That's seats. crazy. <laughs> and they still get it wrong. That's and they mental. have that crazy facility. And yeah. have you heard like have you heard when they mm. played the audio from the Onana one? Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, talk to me, guys. Talk to me, guys. Yeah. What should I do? And they're like. One second, we'll check another angle. All right, and it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking to the players, yeah, yeah. it's mad. It's mad. I, bro, I'll be real with you. Football is slightly behind when it comes to that sort of stuff because in other sports, you see it in the NFL where they have to even explain the decisions in front of the whole, whole stadium, yeah. the whole yeah. crowd. I feel like NBA football yeah, low key should be doing that. Yeah, but also American sports, they yeah. have the, the, the fans and teams mixed together and stuff. Like, it, yeah, I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to do that. Man. That's what I'm saying. I like, don't like that. American sports is different. There's no like in in, in England in. Mm. In the Premier League, mm. if they did that, mm. it could r- cause riots because the refs talking to the crowd. Yeah. In America, bro, the fact that that yeah. two different opposing fans are sat next to each other, yeah. there's no to they, be fair, it's though, entertainment. Mm. It's all entertainment. No, but they're all sat next to each other. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, more no, but a lot of the time, it's more. It's a small it, of a spectacle. I was even going to say that yeah. a lot of the time in American sports, yeah. The way it's teams ain't really the, no, the way the way the way, team, the way fans really aren't there, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, mo- yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe when it's like their own conference or whatever, but bro, yeah. there's teams playing halfway across the country. Yeah, it's so true. it's mostly the yeah, home yeah. team. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. right. Do you know what it's actually yeah, 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 like? It's like going to the Milan derby and wearing a half and half scarf. It's actually crazy when people do that. Oh yeah, that's, that's weird. Oh, who's doing a him? Oh, oh, I went oh, to the oh, Milan oh, Derby. Oh, it's a yeah, souvenir it's, 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 for the it's, it's, Milan Derby. Oh, 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 he got you there. Nah, no, but I think what team you back in? I think that's a good idea. What are you coming for me, bro? Are you AC guy? I'm an Inter fan. Inter fan, but I bro, it's the Milan Derby. But I've seen you wear AC shirts. Look, man, he's wearing QPR shirts, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, my that's my local club, though. That's, 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 that's my local club. That's my local club. You should be wearing like New York Cosmos or something. New York Cosmos or something like that. He's in the San Siro and he's wearing AC and I know what's happening. Do you know what he missed just in the green as well? I bought it after the game. Do you know what he did after he messaged us in the group chat? Oh, these AC Milan fans, they're 5-1 down. But look at them, they're still going. Bro, they were crazy. 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 Let me start baiting out where you went last week, yeah? Yeah. Rise with Rapper Sapper. Rise with Rapper Sapper. That's crazy. You've lost your mind this part. This guy's lost his damn mind. Back to the Everton Arsenal game. A couple of notes on that game. Obviously, Havertz didn't start. Havertz didn't start. I remember I was on a podcast saying, okay, I think it's time to like... Try something else. Yeah, not start him. Fabio Vera started. Obviously, he's, a, he's more of a creative machine. The goal that got this allowed, Gabby Martinelli won. Vieira slotted him pass. very nicely. Mm-hmm. Away from at Everton, I think he had an all right performance. Habits to come on later in the game. Um, Declan Rice impressed me, though. Did the game against Our Everton, player. yeah, let's see. It works. Yeah, that's, player. Again, you talk sense. about the simplicities and the fundamentals. This guy is just fundamentally sound, bro. Mm-hmm. And he's that's a brilliant what you need at well. every club. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. You know, it means, it's like prime Jordan Henderson at Liverpool. Oh, Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold let him land, let him land, let him land. Think about what you're going to say first. And yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I want to hear him land, I want to hear him land. Let me finish. Yeah, let him land. Oh my I'm God. saying what I liked about <laughs> Henderson. What about, okay, is this more of a violation of Henderson or Rice? I don't know, I have no idea what you're going to say. I don't know what you're going to say. I don't know what you're going to say. You need to let your reaction is like, I'm violating one of them. No, my point is, it just went completely one. Yeah, we just didn't expect it, yeah. It's a tangent. So, okay, so remember when Liverpool played rock and roll football when they were the best team in the league, or top two teams in the league, whatever. Correct. A big part of that was when. They signed Fabinho and Henderson, Henderson was, relieved went up. For, was relieved from that, that, that defensive yeah. midfield position. And he was a lot more on the right side, um, covering, covering Trent, Trent and helping Salah. And
like Henderson is known for like a physical like running machine. So what Shaka, right? Shaka did last season. Engine machine. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying I'm seeing elements of that side of Declan Rice yeah. plus Rice has so much better stuff on uh, on yeah, the ball as he's well. So, clean so what I'm saying right. is I like the fact that Rice has those like the legs to go up and down, help mm-hmm. right go across. Yeah. Sinchenko came in midfield with him. So now Rice occupied a lot of the right side. Yeah. Because before it'll be Odegaard will be deeper mm-hmm. playing right. Now what it was, it was Odegaard and Fabio Vieira was so really high, high up, really high. They were occupying positions in between the full back and the centre back, both of them. Yeah. So so Odegaard was between the left back and the centre back. Um, Vieira was between the right, right back, back and the centre back. back. Then it had um, Eddie and Ketia and, and all that stuff going yeah. on up there, right? And Martin Elliott had Ketia coming. Yeah. So it was like two, four, one. Mm-hmm. And then what I liked about Rice was he had the legs. He was going all on the right side, Absolutely. everything. But on the board, he was so sound oh, as yeah. well. So I brought in Henderson because like the legs part and get uh, it reminded me of uh, Henderson as best because he's playing on the right side. But on top of that, mm. he's got the passing range. He's got the keeping the ball. Mm. He's got he, if something happens, he loses the ball. He gets back quickly. Obviously, you guys mocked the Ben White uh, video on Twitter that Arsenal yeah. posted. But you you like, tweeted it, you tweeted it. Yeah, obviously, you Arsenal gave me yeah, the, yeah, the password. But I'm saying is that <laughs> what I like about Ben White and Rice both playing on the right side is they both remind me of like, they have like similar frames and they both have like the long strides they get back quick. I like that. So athletes. They're both, they're both, like, they're both mm. like top athlete yeah, kind of players. Presence. Everything so I complete. It looked, yeah. it looked good. Although the game was boring. Yeah, although the game was boring. There's certain things I liked a lot, and that was Declan Rice playing a little bit more on the right side now, mm. helping that side specifically. Very good plan. With Ben White, etc. What are you going to say? Listen, everything I don't like about United, bro. Like, like everything like I complain Arsenal. about United, Arsenal checks those tick. Mm-hmm. Like, they have athletes, bro. Honestly, you talk. Remember the other day I was saying about Casemiro, uh, Fuad asked me as you watch. I was like, he might be, but one thing is for sure. No DM on the planet can cover the amount of space I that Mountain Bruno was saying. Yeah. But I said the one guy that probably could is Declan Rice, Rice yeah. bro. And that's not because I think Declan Rice is the best team on the planet, but in terms of athleticism, mm-hmm. this guy covers ground both on and off the ball mm-hmm. like nobody else, man. Yeah, yeah, no, he I is agree. a physical specimen. He's the type of player you bring into or a team that's already shown great signs like you guys did last season. He can make that team. He can elevate that mm-hmm. team just based on that. Obviously, we know that party was so brilliant for you guys in possession, that progressive passing and finding order. Mm. And that is, in his own right, he's brilliant at that. Of course. But what Declan Rice brings is, like Leos is saying, that just athleticism that can... Cover so much ground. He doesn't. He doesn't have the passing level of Thomas Partey. No yeah. chance. He's not. He's not. Not on he that understands elite that too, level. Huh? That's again. He's That's a very what I like about player. him. Yeah. So but he yeah. knows I'm not doing these line breaking or raking passes. Keep it simple. Being so on cog of a machine. That, but he wants the ball a lot, which I like. Yeah. Yeah. So he demands the ball. He's a new player. That, that's what the leadership as well. He just joined this team. Yeah. But he demands the ball so much. Like, bro, he comes. Give me the ball. Yeah. One touch. Move it on. Give it the ball. Move on. Give it mm. the ball. Move on. And he does that so much. Partey would get the ball, turn, and obviously Partey can find those. Those, yeah, like yeah. line breaking passes. Yeah, but he, he doesn't. He's a different player. Like a he understands yeah. it, but he gets the ball moving. He gets the ball. And moving. that's actually one part I didn't think he'd have that leadership. Mm. But yeah. I thought it'd take time for him to just no, you know, develop into. It. No, but he's had it at West he's Ham. West but Ham. my thought was coming up to a top club. Then yeah. does he have to learn the system before the intangible? One thing I, he's yeah. demand like and he's around around he's got everyone. technical superstars yeah. like Odegaard. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Like they're playing directly next to him. on his left. Yeah, Odegaard slightly in front of him. These are like players that are some of the exactly. te- te- best players in the league technically. Absolutely. One thing and I wanted to say he knows that, which is good. Bro. I, there's two things. One is that he's a very throwback player, in my opinion. In terms of you talk about midfielders nowadays, oh, can they operate in the first phase? Are they a second phase? Duncan Rice operates, he just gets the job done, done bro. Yeah, yeah, Everywhere. Sure. He, mm. You can find him in the second phase. The fir- You don't need to put him next to a defensive to unlock all, all that nonsense. Second of all, my favorite thing about Duncan Rice, I've said it for the last year now, is that he is, it's his, his uh, character. He is so hungry to improve, mm-hmm. bro. And there's no doubt, there's no surprise that he is the most improved player year on year on year on year for the last five mm-hmm. years. Yep. You look, at, you look a few seasons ago, I remember when he was linked Same to United, way. I was like, I don't want this guy anywhere near my club, bro. Like he can't he can't hack it at this level. Yeah. He's not mm-hmm. the, I was obviously completely wrong because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he developed into what is now, for me, one of the best midfielders in the world. But mm. for me, it's his character and his hunger to get better. Like I always say, yeah. you look at the way he talks about Pogba, for example, oh, I love playing against him. I love those battles. The way he was picking Gaia Torre's brain. Mm. This guy just loves the game, bro. And no, he is he, desperate to get to the next level. Even that video um, when he first joined. And uh, Oftata was like, obviously, welcoming him into the oh, squad. Yeah. And then he was like, um, he said, you want to say a few words? And he just said, yeah, I want to st- I want to stand up and make yeah. a speech. To, to be able to have that sort of... Um, Confidence and be able to be like show that leadership from day one. Say you know what, like I'm, you know, maybe I like, want to be. Maybe wanna, because obviously he's also comf- like, comfortable having the leadership role he had at yeah, West Ham. And course, West Ham yeah. is not a small club. Yeah, you know, West Ham is a massive club in English football. Yeah, uh, maybe having that experience of leading that, and he was yeah. around Mark Noble, who's a big, of course, who's a great yeah, leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Also, maybe because obviously he plays with the England national team and he's already comfortable. He's got the Saka, Ben White, Ramsdale. He's got that core English mm-hmm. group in Ketia, mm-hmm. which he grew up with. That he already just feels comfortable at Arsenal. And the fact that it's still a London club, it's not going anywhere. But I swear, like everything you're saying is right, bro. I've, yeah. I've been around the training ground. I've seen yeah. them on tour. Bro, he's like there, like just bannering everyone. He's like already, yeah. bro, this is his first preseason. He just joined yeah. Arsenal a week. And that, that video was in Germany. Yeah. A week later, it was in New York. On the New York trip, the party yeah. trip, I was in New York, bro. This guy was already just like, yeah. I just think some people, have, some people like have that personality, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. this guy, like, he looks like he's been there for ages. I, I think yeah. some players just have that personality. Like, you look at Jude Bellingham at Real Madrid, it's mm-hmm. very similar. I remember when Bruno came to United, it's very similar. Some mm-hmm. players just have this leadership aura, trait to them, that they aura. just come in yeah. and they are you know, able, yeah, 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 that they're, aura. yeah, they're yeah. able to just kind of like. <laughs> You just know they're they're leaders. Yeah. People gravitate towards them. Absolutely, and like you, and like you say, yeah. on the pitch it shows as well. Yeah. Like you said, the demanding 100%. of the ball. Bruno straight away when he comes to the pitch, everyone wants to find him in the first pass. Yeah. And these kind of plays, that's what they bring to you. There's certain players, yeah, like I said, it's just certain humans, not just football. Yeah, they just go places and yeah. they're just fully comfortable wherever they go. Absolutely, that's they're true. not like it doesn't take yeah. them the time to to build in. Assimilate. They're yeah. just so sure of themselves. Yeah, you go somewhere and you're like, this is me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is what I do. This is. I'm, I'm gonna lead this conversation mm-hmm. and everyone gravitates towards them. There's some people like that and that's Absolutely. a good, like, you know, uh, people yeah, person. Yeah. But yeah, Declan Rice, phenomenal. Um, Trossard got the goal. Trossard came on for Martin Lee very early on in the game. What's I the was, injury saying, by the I way? I wasn't, what I don't was know. So I don't, I don't really know what the what the problem is. I don't, yeah. I think it was more of like a precaution, obviously, it was straight after the, the goal. Straight got the after the goal, yeah. Huh? It was a hamstring problem. I don't, we haven't heard nothing yet, really, to see to know how, how long, bad yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. He might miss the North PSV North. game. Yeah. Back in time for that. I think Reese Nelson should play that game. You think Reese Nelson should I, play I, the PSV game? Miss Nolan Derby confirmed. I got some intel. You I've been thinking all pod about what you said. Uh, do Arsenal have the most de- the best depth in the league? You might be right, bro. Yeah, Honestly, yeah, they I have two. They, they have two starting 11s. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be right. Yeah, I mean, no, off the just, bench, just, off the know. bench, we brought on Trossard, Gabriel Jesus, Havertz, and Tommy Asu. Off the bench, players that didn't even yeah. come on. Smith Rowe, yeah. Reece Nelson. You just look at United, for Kibio, example. If Rashford Ramsdale, was to go down for a Virginia. week, we'd all be shitting our yeah, pants. Arsenal, sure. okay, Martinelli's a huge player for them, but they can they can rely on so many different players. Like, they there. can yeah. even sh- change the system yeah. up to... to uh, yeah, they, they have I think in terms of numbers, yeah, I think the but depth is there. Level, I think the quality as well. I think the quality still might be seen. Trossard offers a different dynamic where you know at any given moment, like he didn't on the weekend. looks like he didn't sleep though, man. You see what's coming on? See the bags on his eyes? Yeah, you and left this one, yeah. He said he seen them. I was like, damn. I'm trying to think. There's another player who was like that too, bro. Super sunken eyes. If you saw his face when he came on. I see this still. One line, this kid. I was like, That brother ain't slept in 10 years, bro. Crazy. He hasn't slept since he was in Antwerp, bro. It's like David Neres, bro. Remember David Neres on that brother oh, that guy's fried all the time. Fried, man. He is fried all the time. All the time you know who the other one is too? Mm. Uh, the, the Nottingham Forest manager. <laughs> <laughs> that brother, he looks like he's on a different galaxy during games. <laughs> oh, this man, guy, man. his players on earth, he's I on Jupiter, I need whatever he's got, bro. I need whatever he's on. Like, I need that. Whatever he's on, I need that. Bro, he's doing an interview one line to say he doesn't want to be there. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. I love that. He's amazing. I, 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 I've got so much time for Steve Cooper. But yeah, Trossard, Steve Cooper. I call him Steve Cook. Steve yeah, Cooker. Yeah, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm cooked, bro. bro. <laughs> but, but, but Trossard's goal, though, let's talk about the winning goal. Yeah, yeah. It eventually, finish, eventually came in the 69th yeah. minute. Yeah. What a finish that was. Crazy. Bro. He took it really well. Belgium, by the way. Huh? Off topic. Oh, yeah. The goal for Belgium, Belgium was crazy. Bro, that's oh the thing about Trossard. Like, I think. There's a lot of things maybe on the pitch that he lacks. Mm. I like that he tries a lot. Mm. He breaks down a lot of our moves because there's like a little community on the right side that mm. we have, right? And 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 it worked like Ben White, Saka, mm. Odegaard, and Ketia. And if you watch the amount of like little intricate plays they mm. have, one touch, one touch, one touch, one touch, one touch shot. Mm. They do that so well between them. Right? Yeah, that, that, that it's different. beautiful. It's beautiful yeah. on mm. that right side. It's not as much on the left yeah. side. But it's yeah. beautiful on that right side. And then there's a couple of times where they went bang, 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 switch Trossard, counter attack. Trossard tries to switch it back across our own <laughs> that cross field, mm. lost it. They get a shot. You know, it happened twice where he's trying to go back across yeah. our field uh-huh. or he'll break it down. And I'm like, ah. But time and time again, he's that player. Mm. We've seen it preseason against Barcelona, two great goals. We've seen it community shield. We've seen it last season, towards the end of the season where he got mm. some important goals. We've seen it here, we've got the winning goal. Like, he will get that goal. He will, do you know what I mean? But he's mm. not, I don't know. No, but still that's my thing, though. I say, why is it that his, his like dynamic is different? Because I feel like he's got the cutting edge that I feel like Martinelli sometimes lacks. I think he's just got, he's got those mm. moments where- oh, Martinelli, don't forget, yeah. he had a beautiful finish. Obviously just got disallowed, yeah. but he has that finish on lock. It's no, a no, Terry no, and Rick no, no, kind no. of finish. Well, Opens got up and finishes it, but I'm right. He's got it on lock. No, but, but I'm saying with Trossard, yeah. he didn't finish it. No, but I'm mm. saying with Trossard though, with Trossard it's like, 
he could have he's one of those players that he can have a rubbish game but mm. give him one or two mo- moment and he, he can has extra he has yeah. Yeah. factor yeah. Yeah. we talk about that. Bruno and Rashford yeah, yeah, yeah. too like they, they could have horrible games but they're capable bang, of bang. just unlocking a, a game with one action yeah, yeah. Trossard is yeah. a bit like that not yeah, to yeah, yeah. Level, that's what yeah. I'm saying he's kind of like that whereas Who's Martinelli is more consistent with his performances yeah. you know what you're getting with him whereas Trossard if he's having a bad game he can still yeah Pop you with a goal. Was you guys I feel like when Martin, Martin has a bad game, yeah. he's having a bad game. Man. What was you guys' man thoughts on, on Odegaard? On Odegaard in the Everton game? Because uh, I've been hearing, obviously, some talk. Yeah, people voices in the background. Say, uh, voices, a little happy. in the back saying, oh, Saka, Saka. Yeah. Yeah. Hate, yeah, yeah, hate Saka. I, I was just about to mention as well, their relationship as well is obviously something that's been destroying the league last year. Yeah. And no one could touch them. Obviously, this is early doors. And like, we, like the last time I, um, I was on as well, it was like... Um, have Arsenal moved so far away from the system? Is it too much of an issue? Obviously, the results are still fine. And your defence is better as well because you speak about how City are one of the best defences in the league. Oh, if Arsenal, I think it's in terms of how much that, um, they concede or XG that they concede. And the defence City is City's, City's lost. Now. We, just put, we, we bring on exactly. something else to every game. It's we nuts. still have Kiwi on the bench and Timber injured. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's, and that's, and that's a testament to how much you've improved defensively. But going forward, like you said, the patterns may not be as fluid. It, Arsenal weren't really t- a it's team. And I understand fluid, this. Right. To be fair, it's Goodison Park. It's not going to be easy to break, so, down, yeah. to break down Everton. 100%. And Bro, I do you understand. See, they have like a five-man midfield that all just it, they're just there and they're here to just the destroy yeah, yeah, and so, so yeah, I do understand right. that but do you think um, it's a concern um, I don't think so because I think it's not as fluid going forward but like I said we're playing differently mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. so like I said it was the whole four man behind it uh, it was like five just five attackers yeah. Saka Odegaard Nketiah uh, Vieira Martinelli all yeah. five of them it's so it's five, like yeah. it's different the way we're playing and just we only have Zinchenko and Rice sitting there mm-hmm. and, those, those come back. I have a question. It's for not you. gonna be as fluid right now, but we're still getting results, and I think that is the key. And then hopefully, that's the only way, the only way you can build a system is doing it on the pitch during the games. Yeah, you know. And then it's like, okay, oh, okay, this is what I do now. This is what I do. And then come back to training. They watch the tapes. This is blah blah. But we're, while we're trialing it, we're still getting the results out of the way. Cool, we got the three points. But guys, no, we're still drilling into them. This mm-hmm. is what's going wrong. This is the system trying to play. That's what Pep does, bro. He changes my, it every year. My main issue was with, with Havertz being in that lineup. Obviously, he wasn't in it this this time, so I thought maybe we'd see a bit more dynamism and fluidity. Obviously, the opposition Everton matters. Away. That's exactly that's yeah. So, so we'll see. Like, I'd like to see them without Havertz again, maybe against the opposition. Not North London derby, maybe, but another game where it's like, let's see now. Do they play as fluid as? Because I don't, I don't think, I don't expect you guys to be the same as you were last year. Because teams change, and you guys have. Um, but in assets that are going to make you change drastically. If you change from Partey to Rice, mm-hmm. your team is going to look hella different. Yeah. So it's just about seeing how it all works. That, but that, that's, 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 it could that's be a concern. as well. Like we're now playing Rice in that midfield. Exactly. So the, te- the whole shape of the team has to look different. Absolutely. I think people just think, a lot of football fans just think, yeah, okay, cool. We played one way last season. We made transfers. Yes, we got Rice. Yes, we got the same side. way plus more. Why are we playing different? Yeah. We're playing different because we've got a whole different type of player yeah. playing in the position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Party and Rice are different players. Mm-hmm. So just so Rice is there, that means the whole team plays different. Mm-hmm. Gabriel didn't start the season. Maybe that was because of the change of part, Party and Rice. One little player, a goalkeeper change could change the whole team. Everything changed. A goalkeeper might, we might always favour playing that way. Mm-hmm. So now the players that are playing on that side of the pitch are different to the players yeah. that are playing last. Everything. And so it's like, mm-hmm. Of course, yeah, right. but we're building a new system whilst the league is going on because mm-hmm. we're playing every single week. So while the results are still going this way, it's not a worry. But if if for whatever reason that changes, then it could become a concern. Of course, fair enough. I have a question yes. I have for you. Is uh, last week we were talking about Havertz, and you were saying I would continue playing him uh, in that eight position because I don't really trust the Vieira and Odegaard relationship. How do you feel about that a week later where Havertz kind of came off the bench, Vieira had a pretty good game yet again. A lot of people were worried, could he hack the Goodison Park uh, yeah, physicality, physicality where yeah. maybe a year ago he would have struggled, mm-hmm. had a pretty good game. Mm-hmm. I, 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 think, I think if we're playing Vieira, because what Vieira was doing a lot was playing left wing, even, especially when Martinelli was still on the pitch. Martinelli was coming in inside a bit and then Vieira was high up either left wing or he was in that position where I was telling you that awkward position between the fullback yeah. and the centre-back. If we're playing like that, I think he's good to play there. If we're playing just in the midfield, deeper. I still don't think either him or Havertz, I think we're missing a player. We're still missing a player there. We're missing mm-hmm. that Xhaka player. Like, we don't have that. So, regardless, whatever, whatever game we're playing, I think neither of them are like, ready to start week in, week out in that position. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, it's up for grabs. And I don't think, I, 
people saying Smith Rowe, people saying Trussell, people saying, we don't have anyone. Yeah, that, that actually fits that the is, bill. Yeah, yeah. I'll need a Jacka to pure, stay one more year. Your midfielder that can play there. Because you know? he could, because Jacka could do the thing where he Xhaka, you deep, if he had stayed one more year and oh on the final days, third. Bro. Exactly. I'd, I think I might have put Arsenal as title winners if if Shaka had stayed. Oh Honestly, genuinely, genuinely, I think I would. I think that Xhaka makes that much of a difference. And we signed Rice. For me, I think it makes that much of a difference. Genuinely, I think so. I think so for sure. But a couple players that impressed me from the from the Everton side. Uh, the centre back uh, Branthwaite <laughs> Branth- Branthwaite was good the centre back played at uh, PSV as well on loan I think yeah. he did he was really good mm. Mikalenko saved them quite a bit actually Mikalenko actually saved them quite a bit but listen what do we, what do we think about Everton? I'm counting the days till they go down mm-hmm. you reckon? do United fans still want Amadou Anana? Uh, I was never really yeah, like, no, thank, yeah. you, thank the dear lord did you want him? Thank the dear Lord. I don't, yeah I don't think he's a, uh, he's a good I don't player think he's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not a bad player he maybe is a level above that but I don't think he's. he's, he's you know, you like your technically secure players. I know you, but I think yeah. in a game, in, a, in mm. the modern game, where it's becoming more and more physical and more and more th- athletic, I think he you, has. You, I think you, he has a part need, to yeah. play in it. But yeah. look, Everton just but don't I think have enough. Improved, they, like since the Beto's coming, I think they've improved though. Yeah, yeah. Like, shit, bro. They were nah, literally. They, they, they were. Yeah. Yeah, forget about the they floor. They were below the floor. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> no, 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 of course not, for sure. But I'm saying like the dynamics change now. They can. Instead of playing Danjuma centrally, now yeah. he can go out in his favorite position on the left. Mm-hmm. They look like, they look better than they More did a couple of weeks that. ago. I, I I don't know <laughs> I don't know if uh, I I don't want to say yet hundred percent Everton yeah. will go down. Yeah, uh, Everton somehow always they might yeah they might still find, not, find, find, they find a way. The XG's been minute. pretty good this season. Yeah. Just haven't been cashing in. Now they got better yeah. and they got Cavalu off the bench. If one of them just catches some form, yeah, start you putting them back, start putting them away. But not confident. Their fortunes can change. I had them going down. I had them going down. Yeah, you know I'm sick and tired of Everton. No, I think they just like there was a mini takeover that went through. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who knows? Maybe if they stay one more year, then yeah. that could come. Yeah, the money. They really need Here to stay up go. this year yeah. if that's the case, bro. Yeah. Mm. Well, at least money. wait to get to get to January at least, and then yeah. see what happens from there. Sure. Let's yeah. get into the next game now: Wolves versus Liverpool. Mm. Now, three one to Liverpool. Um, they're the kings of comebacks this season. They're going to like Liverpool of old when they were like they just have to outscore their opponents. That's yeah. all. That's how they have to play. Yeah. Um, they won three one in the end. One and thing, no yeah. One one main thing is exactly one main thing is that Salah, who everyone was saying he just score goals and that's about it. Salah has now provided more league assists in 2023 than any other player in Europe's top seven leagues. Wow, he's get, he's an assist man now, bro. Mm-hmm. And he could have added a hat trick of assists in this game. Wait, but two one years ago, didn't he have the most assists in the league? He had, yeah, yeah, he had yeah, the most goals, goals most top assist. assist, yeah. Mm-hmm. But people profiling him as someone who yeah. just scores jammy goals. Wow, who the, the hell, hell would do, would that? do that? <laughs> yeah, who the hell would oh, do I mean, that? A man, <laughs> what a Niger- casual. A Algerian man. A Nigerian man. <laughs> this is deeper than rap, yeah, man. <laughs> crazy. crazy. Not, he might not be scoring as much. Uh, Salah has also mm. now provided more Premier League assists than any other African player in the competition's history, breaking Riyad Mahrez's <laughs> 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 We were put that down. As wow. They did that right for you. Hey. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you're bad minded <laughs> put your AFCON on the table how about that <laughs> but yeah man like he's hey he's all I've always, I've always, I've, I've always hated that stigma about him though I've always hated that he's just oh, a here he goal goes. scorer like oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, what that's the gun <laughs> I hate it though. I've always, I've always raised Salah. I've always, uh, yeah, yeah, everyone knows. I've, I've always raised Salah. I always yes. said. I said he's the greatest Premier League winger. Mm. That's a crazy <laughs> take. It's, it's, it's crazy, but I don't, genuinely don't think it's crazy. I just don't know. I just I don't feel like he gets the respect he deserves. No, no, I he think. deserves more respect than he gets. Mm. But he's not the greatest winger in the Premier League. So who's the greatest winger in the Premier League history? I think there's two that are better than him. Saying Ronaldo, right? No, Ronaldo, 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 Ronaldo had a better peak for sure, but I don't think. But I don't want him to get into Hazard and Hazard. Of course, no, Hazard. Come on, get the hell out of him, man. Easily, easily. Hazard. But uh, yeah, yeah, but listen, Salah, get absolutely, you're right. You're right, you're right with what you say. He's, he's, his assist get numbers have been there. Man. I'm staying out of it. Get the hell out <laughs> of him, That's not close to me. But anyway, uh, with um, uh, ha- look, Salah, I think that- Salah ranks above Hazard as like, if we're going Premier League greats, like greatest. Oh, as in numbers? No problem, 100%. No, no, of course, no, numbers, but, uh, that's just, I, I love this knows. guy. Hey, no, 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 I'm being serious. No, no, I'm saying everyone knows. It's about how numbers are They make me feel. No, I'm f***ing off, bruv. Off, man. <laughs> make me feel. Well, I'm saying, well, how about the goals they score? Well, what about the goals they create? What about that? Well, if you make, who's a better creator? Has, has if, if you, I'm, I'm just saying, if you make, right, statistically, it's proven. Oh, so, 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 numbers. Yeah. There you go. Oh, so numbers. 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 Yes
Oh, that's what you care about, bro. So sexy and good. Yo, that's and your words. What made you go with that verse? Well, that's what you might as well start saying that. Your words, you start touching that's the what he, yeah, that's, what do, that's what they be doing. Because that's all I hear. That's all I hear. Oh, no. Do you know how knew this was coming from when he said, Oh, I feel like Salah is so disrespecting nowadays. Do me a favor. What are you talking about? Gets the job done, gets the goals, wins games, wins trophies. And that's why he deserves respect. And that's why he's the greatest winger of all No, he's not. Why can't Rashford be like Salah? Where oh, did that no, come from? Sure. Why can't yeah. he be? Where did that come I'm from? I'm just question. Why can't he be? Not, not many people he's can not, be like Salah. Yeah, Salah is a great. No, yeah, he's like, great. I mean, him. He is a great. He absolutely Rashford is a great. Not, no, Rashford's just not as good as him. But you, but you, Rashford's meant to be United's. Well, that's why United. That's why United Since doesn't transfer tor- tor- trophies, and why Liverpool does since he We came. haven't wanted it for ten years. Yeah. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't even know why you got Rashford involved. I don't know how he got any of that. Why did you do that? You got free. Why can't Saka be as good as Salah? Mm. He's more likely to be than Rashford is. Mm. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, the what? point is neither huh? of them are. Like, huh? Huh? Neither of them are as good as, as Salah. Like, like, my whole point is they're like, more likely like, high. Uh, Rodri- 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 Rodrigo at Real Madrid. Madrid. Of course he's well, getting numbers. No, he, he probably is. No, maybe not numbers. No, more Rashford, Rashford, is more Rashford, Rashford than Saka. Saka is the good decision making guy. In terms, hold on. I hear what he's saying. In terms of no, he he will not. I think Rashford will retire with more Premier League goals than, than Saka, but it's normal. He's a forward. Mm-hmm. Rashford's yeah. already played over 200. No, but Premier I'm saying they'll both retire. I think Rashford will end up with more goals. I think if I had to take a bet on that. Mm-hmm. But my point is, that's to make I mean who's a better player. Mm-hmm. But anyways, oh, so, so numbers don't mean he's a better player, right? Of course, I've, it doesn't. I've always said. Of course, that. it doesn't. Yeah, you're, you're oh, like, no, just making sure. Hold on, my that's point. Right, 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 I'm just saying. I don't like Why did this idea that Salah has just some sort of poacher? I just again, no one said that. No, but I'm not saying that. said that. No one said that. I have said it, but I didn't mean it. No, no, but I'm a hater though. I've seen Salah score some outrageous goals. Brilliant goals. His catalog is crazy. Beating man, three, huh? four man, putting people on the How floor. How many? So Man City. He's done. Yeah. Yeah. Man City and Watford. He's done back that. To back, no, back, back to back. back. Okay. I've seen Demar. I've seen Demar. Gray do it. Name me a third goal. No, but what? No, but this is my score. He scores. He scores. His goal catalog is crazy. So me, name me. You're saying. I'm saying these guys just said. You know what he said? He said, yeah, I've seen him score. They're banging it. He skipped past players. Okay. Other than twice, when have we seen that? No, no, but my point is, no, but my point is, yeah, they tried to box him. He's not the best. He said the best winger. He's the best winger. He's the best winger. He's the best winger. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, he is the greatest winger. No, 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 no. Whether you like it or not, he's agree. definitely uh, not. He's the greatest uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. He's not. He's I, definitely I, I, Cristiano. Not it can't be. Why? Okay. Ronaldo had a, probably like a better period in terms of like Didn't that. Didn't well. No, but this is win the Ballon d'Or. He had the best, better peak. You can say he even had a better peak, but. Over the course of like Premier League, if we're making the Ronaldo greatest Premier make... League eleven of all time, yeah, Salah on the right wing, no, hundred percent, no, 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 Ronaldo's right wing, Salah right wing. Well, actually, no, hold on, hold on. No, maybe, maybe. no Sal- then Sal- Henri's Sal- not in the team. I think Salah Sal- 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 is in the greatest you're, eleven. You're right, actually. No, no, no. I, I would put because I don't think there's a better right winger because mm. Ronaldo for me is a left winger. Yeah. Yeah. He, he played on the left and the right. Yeah, no, I, mean, I, I, I would agree. Yeah, with that. but you accommodate. Right. You put you you move Ronaldo to the left to accommodate. No, but, no, but it's not like Ronaldo uh, didn't play on the right hand side. Yeah, but Ronaldo was playing on the right for United early days, no. Was, yeah, yeah, but early days was not when he was one of the greatest wingers in the Premier League. Listen, Salah will be on the right, Ronaldo be on the left, right? For you guys, maybe. So why is Hazard not on the team? Hazard's in my team. Because Sal- Hazard's not on Ronaldo. the left hand side. Hazard's not better than Ronaldo. Yeah. Hazard's and then Ronaldo's on the right, yeah. Hazard's not better than Ronaldo. No, he's not better than Ronaldo. No, he's putting Ronaldo on the no, right. Ronaldo are playing on the right hand side. Right. Hazard's not even Ronaldo's better than the right and the left for Man United. Hazard's, Hazard's not even better than Salah. You're, you've lost your damn mind. Oh, Ronaldo. Hazard's not do you even better than Salah. I don't understand what you want. Hazard's not even better than Morris. Let's move on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's move on. Let's move on. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Let's go, move on, let's move on, let's move on. Let's move on, let's move on. This is how he gets me out of the Let's move on, let's move on. 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 Let's move Mars my favorite player. There you go. 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 Can we get back into the ugly game? twins? Yeah, Allah, ugly, ugly twins. twins. So yeah, we'll get back to the game. Um, Wolves are one 0 up. Mm-hmm. Then it took Liverpool a while. It took him a while. Yeah. Fifty fifth minute, Gakpo finally equalised. Obviously, Robertson then scored a late one, and then there was an own goal right at the end. Uh, ob
You're not a fan of that? <laughs> <laughs> right, that midfield is just worse. <laughs> What's going on in that midfield? There's no balance. There's nothing going on in that midfield, Allah. Do you think... Get Mac to, uh, McAllister out of the six. But where's he sat here at the start of the season? And lied to us. And he said... Yeah. It's going to be a two-horse race. <laughs> <laughs> he was right, to be fair. He was right. No, he was right about the two-horse race, just not about who's just in it. Just not about who's in it. Actually, right. no, low-key, bro. Chill out, chill out. You remember when... Mar oh, I'm not going to say Liverpool won the league, but remember mm. when Mourinho was talking about two big the, horses, the horses and, and one little, baby horse? I, I, think, I think there's some truth to that. And this is coming from the guy who says, oh, so I, who's I, the baby I'm, horse? Liverpool, Liverpool bro. Liverpool oh, right now. Okay. Hey, man, I'm their biggest hater, but I have to say, I'm loving the way they're playing. Is that sustainable? I don't know, but... I'm, an, I, I'm always about entertainment. I'm, it's true, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm in the future. Gets, I can't answer. I'm in the future. <laughs> For me, the way that they're playing right now is definitely but not My point is, bro. I actually love watching, the, watching them play. The last two when years, I've been on the record, even though they were winning a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. I didn't really like the way they were playing. Mm -hmm. Like Everyone talks about rock and roll, rock and roll club. I think they almost went away from that. And he actually, like we talked about Tanag, he became a little bit more pragmatic to, to win Liverpool major trophies and yeah. go 99 points with, with uh -huh. City. Right now, they aren't as good a team as that team. But in terms of pure entertainment, enjoyment, watching them play... They're vertical, they're direct, mm -hmm. they're aggressive. Mm -hmm. That's my kind of football, man. So mm -hmm. if I have to choose a team to play like purely from an entertainment point of view right now, right now it's Liverpool. You don't think that back, back in the day? Um, no, 17, 18, yeah, that's Liverpool. What I'm yes, 18, yeah. 19, but I think 19, 20, even when they won the league in 19, yeah. I didn't enjoy watching them play Again, from an entertain obviously, I don't watch. And the season anyways, afterwards, Thiago comes in and they change the position. Yeah, like it, it just became a little bit more crossing, crossing, yeah. crossing. Where before, you really had that front three. We're just playing some liquid mm -hmm. football, yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. they're getting back to that uh, right now, bro. Yeah. Listen, they're fun to watch. I just, uh, I remember I tweeted out just as the United game started, so all of them were onto me because we ended up losing the game. <laughs> but after the Liverpool game, I was like, I don't think the way they play right now is sustainable. I, I, th I don't think like, it's fully fair because five games and most of them have been like with red cards involved. So I put that to the side. But when I do watch them, even when it's 11 versus 11, they have the, the and we always mention this about their attack. So many game winners in that front line. Yeah. So many game winners coming off the bench. They have the most attacking so depth in the league. It's stacked. Yeah, it's stacked. So they have so many different ways that they can win games of football. No problem. Mm. We'll have to see how that goes throughout the whole of the season when it's like yeah. now yeah. this midfield issue where the, like, the balance is not there. This whole trend inverting thing, like there's so many questions I still have about them, and that's why mm. I don't believe that the way that they're currently playing right now is sustainable. But no, I, I agree. They will not win the league, in my opinion. Yeah, but fun. I think they'll be close. I, I, like, I think they they can, they, top, they'll huh? fall off around maybe March. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. But it, it's not deep enough. That's awesome. a lie. <laughs> crazy. That's a lie. Yeah, crazy. That's crazy. No, a crazy one. Lie, that's a crazy wow. one still. I think, oh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think after that. You didn't need to I add know, that as well. That, that was enough. You didn't need to add that as well. Yeah. <laughs> nah, they won't go far enough. That's what she said. That's that one's fine. That one is fine. They won't go far enough. That's far. That one's wrong. Hey, you guys are tapped. Nah, nah, nah. That's fine. That's fine. Nah, the first one. I was saying that's for the first one. That's too late. It happened. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I, cor I corrupted y'all, man. <laughs> that Toronto <laughs> trip changed. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a trip that was. Hey, hey. Toronto. Hey. If, you, if you're listening from Toronto right now, much love. Let us know in the comments. You want to come there, maybe do a, a live show. Mm. Let us know if you show up. Do you want Lee mm. back as well? The only thing that's holding us back is we don't know if people are going to be there. We don't want to perform to an empty crowd. Nah, we know to at least, the love they show at least a there. few hundred people can be there. We'll be there. And uh, how many people? Love. <laughs> crew love. <laughs> yeah. I said crew love. This guy is childish, All right, okay, so a couple of analysis. We need to get, we need to get through these games. We've still got like loads of games left. Yeah. We've got loads of games left. So uh, analysis Gosh. from probably not as send the Wolves fan. Obviously, we need to hear from the Wolves fan because they lost. Uh, Salah was great. Um, two showing his world-class ability once again, waiting for the perfect time for passes and assisting. A lot of goals throughout the game. Mm. Overall, it was a loss which could have been avoided once again. Another three vital points that we lost out on. Although I believe we won't go down, we need to take our chances and points where we can. To be fair, Wolves, they've been proving a lot of people wrong. Yeah. Obviously, they're not getting the results right now, but performance over results for me because eventually, like I said, the mean, you know, eventually balances out. So Absolutely. They need a goal scorer in that team, in my no, opinion. They, they've only got one win so far and that was a way to Everton and looks like everyone's beating Everton, but they've had decent performances, you know, especially the first game season against United. 
Pedro Neto, Pedro Neto is brilliant. They've had tough games. Pedro Neto, unbelievable. God, bro. Yeah, my kind of wing. They couldn't stop him, bro. Yeah, stars and stocks are coming back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it? I'm a big Pedro Neto fan. You need to get that Pedro Neto shirt back out. Yeah, for tight, but it is here. Yeah, has to be. Well, that's crazy. Crazy. That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Nothing. That laugh makes it worse, isn't it? It isn't good. I have loads of tight shirts. I don't fit anymore. But I was saying the Pedro Neto shirt. That was crazy. Yeah, that man, I can't lie to you. Tight, tight top of the stars, not a, not a healthy sign, man. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not a healthy sign. It's not a healthy, not a healthy sign, man. It's not a healthy sign. Man. Worse, yeah, really well. He's putting the oil <laughs> over the. <laughs> 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 now nah, Pedro Neto <laughs> destroyed Gomez, though. Oh my yeah, Pedro Gomez is mid, but I've thought that. Unbelievable. Uh, he's mid. I promise. Analysis he's from a Liverpool fan, Femi. Don't read mm. that. Uh, need some water. Nah, I can't read that. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. No, nah, I can't. Now read it. Read it. Now read it. 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 Pause, pause, pause. The words can't come out of my mouth? <laughs> what, what's wrong with that, bro? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive, this guy. <laughs> the f the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> lie, yo, this happens when we get to the two hour stage. This guy's guy is gone, bro. Look at him leave that space. Lie, yo, 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 yo. Everyone gets oh, deluded, I'm everyone loses their mind. If you're a viewer, you know when you get to this part, you just <laughs> deranged. Yeah, I'm not reading that. Okay, I'll read the analysis by mm. Femi Liverpool fan. <laughs> Salah was fantastic against <laughs> today. So like, that's what you didn't want to read. <laughs> wow, Provi that ended this crazy. Providing two of the Come three on, assists. Uh, last one didn't count due to it being on goal. Facts, facts. He's become so much more intelligent on the ball, always looking to pick a pass, slash set up another one of the forwards. Once we got that first goal, it felt like we were cruising and that second was inevitable. The decision to not take off McAllister and bring on Diaz at halftime changed the game. Uh, Diaz was so direct and was causing Samedo lots of problems. Good win for Liverpool. Four wins out of five. Liverpool, Arsenal and Tottenham right now have identical records. Um, we'll have 13 points out of 15 with City having five straight wins. So yeah, those teams, those three teams, Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal, it's just about who drops off first. But Brighton one point behind. You know, Brighton a point behind as well. West Ham... Not far behind that. Uh, next game. This game I watched. Don't know why. Bournemouth I watched this on the flight, actually. <laughs> Bournemouth versus Chelsea. Yeah. I don't know what came yeah, over me. Speaking of media I games. don't know what came over me to watch that game. You know, but I thought, you know what? It was the same day as the Arsenal game. was the earlier game. I'm going to watch this. And wow, what a game that was, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say about Chelsea. The amount of money they spent. I've seen the bench. Be fair, oh, they have a huge oh, that, again. The, I saw that's all their bench, the little AI generated bench. <laughs> it's generated out of a computer. I don't believe those places exist. David I don't, Washington. I don't, David Washington killed me. You know where he's from? You know where David Washington's from? Where's he from? Brazil. You're that's good brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They brother named David Washington. Yeah, for real. Yeah, Brazil. They get brothers every time. Well, so why is it why is a guy from Brazil named David Washington? Why is a guy why is a guy from Brazil named Fred? <laughs> True. They've been naming them anyone, bro. So their bench was, their, be their bench was, and I'm yeah, sure, yeah. I'm sure they're all like top Fred talents. Nantes. But obviously, at the moment, <laughs> we don't know any of these players. Their bench yeah. was uh, Ronnie Stutter. Stutter. That, that is a good Ro start. Ronnie yeah. Stutter. Yeah. Good Ronnie start. Ronnie Faze. Yeah, they had, they had two keepers on the bench. Man said Ronnie, Ronnie Faze. That's basically Ronnie Faze. Yeah, yeah, Faze. Ronnie Faze. Name point Faze. So Ronnie Stott was one keeper, Lucas Bergstrom was the other keeper. He's a keeper like Faisal. They had two, yeah, keeper. two keepers. Just like Faisal. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dave Rochton, obviously. They had Alex Matos. They had um, Alfie Gilchrist. Alfie. Oh, Alfie. 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 They got Alfie. desperate, man. They, they, got, they got SDS they had, on your uh, Yeah, extra <laughs> Tino. That's Petrovic, nuts. Petrovic. Yeah. Yeah, Petrovic. They <laughs> had, and obviously they had uh, Mats and Chilwell. I don't think these are real players. It's Jack GPT right there. Man. They said, yeah. Generate some place for us. Yeah. To be fair, Chelsea have a, like Chelsea. You talk about injury crisis. Yeah. I think they had fourteen players. Out and they even start in there. Obviously, yeah. Leslie or Coach or Oh, good Chaku. Yeah, try that one again. Who? Leslie. Or that, no, no, Leslie's all right, man. Leslie's all right. That's crazy. Man. <laughs> but, but still, regardless, <laughs> you know this starting yeah. team. That's crazy. That's not still, a real team, man. This starting team should beat Bournemouth. Robert Sanchez, Marlon Gusto, Desasi, Silva, Colwell. Ogachaku, you know uh, Enzo, Mudrick, Sterling, Jackson. You know in career mode, mm. like four or five years down the and line. And then they start generating fake yeah, players. That's yeah, what it is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that's Chelsea, that's right? Chelsea. Regions, yeah. Put those players no, on. No exist, face. Bro. No face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You looked over to the bench with silhouettes, bro. Yeah, 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 literally. Yeah, yeah. literally. <laughs> and every time. I swear to you, yeah. you could have snuck on that bench. I could have snuck on I know I could have. <laughs> I could have been on there. You could have stuck on. With his, with his uh, athletic apparel as well. <laughs> Just fit right, fit right into the bench. Why do you say authentic apparel? That athletic apparel, calm down, bro. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Remember the penalty shirt? Yeah, you just kept mentioning. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Because <laughs> you just yeah. come out in the uh, sports drip. You're going to be down to Chelsea's bench. You need a guy. He's a JD model. model. <laughs> best, best, JD model is crazy. Bro, you know what? Anybody, you know? Anybody, bro. He's a Chelsea player by, by day, NSG member by night. <laughs> <laughs> cold. Cold one. That's a cold one. A cold one. That used to be my bio as well. 106. <laughs> You, yeah, you can't tell, you know, you can't. Prove to me that I'm not part of energy. Prove to me that I'm not part of energy. Can't. We actually you can't, can't prove it. I can't. You can't prove it. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. You just worry about it. Okay, just worry about it. Okay. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't get involved. How much time we got until the next uh, <laughs> Yo! <laughs> look at <look> camera menu. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, it's on you. <laughs> hey, that's a get back. That's a get back. That's For a get real. back. But let's talk about the game. Let's talk about the game because Chelsea right now, they have played five games, one win, and that's against Luton. Mm hmm. They've lost to West Ham. They've lost to Forest at home. They've drawn to Liverpool and the first game of the season, now they've drawn to Bournemouth. Is it panic stations? I they have are currently in 14th. I have one question for Poch, and that's just the Cole left back thing, because we had the Chilwell left wing issue and he played Mudrick. He looked quick, but Mudrick, like, the when issue are we with him have is. These conversations with Chelsea? Because, what do you mean? I feel like they get away with too much. No, but they have so they many They get away with so right much. Now. No, no. no. If, if you are, no. If this was Arsenal, United. This is oh. what I was just about to say. What did he just say about United earlier? Injury crisis right now. I have to wait for our manager no, no, to get no, all the players. No, 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 they have so many players out as well. No, no, I'm not going to say that. But I'm going to... No, of course. Same rule about them as well. Like, they need to just ride through the storm. I will say the same. Everything I'll say about Chelsea. Yeah, fact. So that means you're fine with this. I'm the way everyone really talks about United and the way everyone talks about Chelsea, I, I, I don't have the same I, energy. I, 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 the I same have energy. the same energy. I'm just not as passionate yeah. about Chelsea. I have no. St yes, because no one cares. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, they're not my team, first of all. Yeah, I, I'm going to be more passionate about my team than, than not. Yeah. But if you want to ask me my question, I don't. I've never read Pochettino like that. Ever. Mm. Like, I didn't I want him. I didn't want him when he was like. I remember when 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 United wanted him. I did not want him. Yeah. When I was in my little enthusiast PSG stage, I wanted him gone from PSG. I just think that look, he had this thing at Chelsea at Spurs going on where you have to give him mad credit. Honestly, he built that team and brought them to a certain level. Fair enough. But I've always said Pochettino tactically is inflexible, and I don't think his ideas and his. I think he needs a team that's super high energy, super high dynamism. But if he doesn't have that, he's going to struggle. And I think his team struggle often to to find ways of breaking teams down. To be fair to this Chelsea team, they are creating chances. But the biggest thing we said about them are their experienced goal scorers in this team. We said it all summer, and Chelsea no. fans got onto us. They don't have it, bro. They, they don't have any players. They've got a player who's got over 100 Premier League goals. Sterling is the only one. And then Nkunku, maybe, he has a track record in Germany. Instead of that, you're relying on players that have no experience of putting up serious numbers over sustained seasons. So then the issue is more than this Pochettino. And I feel like every time I Agreed. talk about Chelsea, it has to be about the ownership. Well, no, fun and fact about Pochettino. Go ahead. His last 14 away games as a manager in the Premier League. He's lost. Zero oh, do you remember at Zero Spurs, wins. the 18-19 the, the season when they were the final? Mm. They couldn't win a game away from home, bro. Mm. Bro, but my yeah. thing is with this ownership as well, like they have invested and obviously the trend is to talk about how much they've invested into the team. Regardless of the injuries, I remember the last time I was speaking about yeah. them as well, yeah. it's been gross negligence from the owners, in my opinion. When you have given a manager this much youth, and we know the young players for the history of football, they're going to be up and down. Agreed. It's going to be inconsistent. It's going to be like that. So that combined with the fact that he has a lot of injuries, he has players that he doesn't fully trust in this squad, even if they're young, he doesn't fully back them fully. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel like it's harsh to get onto Pochettino when he, even if he has his full squad back, that's still a squad full of young players. Where's the experience in the team? How can they be expected to succeed when they don't have the, even like us, mm -hmm. we would have a level of um, um, uh, experience in the team. We can have a Casemiro, a uh, Rashford who's seen many Premier League games. He has so many unknowns in the team. Yeah. He has Noni Madoeke, who's England under 21. They bring in Cole Palmer, someone else who plays for England under 21. Yeah. So it's like, how can Pochettino really succeed no, I know, I know, with I know, the weapons? I know, I, know, I, mean, I, know, I, I We agree. We, we, we yeah, said this here. I'm not a fan of it. I'm, I'm really yeah. against... Yeah, that's more on the club's head than him. That's why, that's I don't, I don't, that's why my energy is I'm, not a I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan of him. Again, once again, he knew the task at hand when he took the job. They just came 12th. He said that he knew... How the recruitment issues? These aren't things that, bro. We can't just when they're taking the job. Yeah, they all know these things. Yeah, but your Chelsea kids came twelve. No, Chelsea just he knows. spent six hundred million in ja in January. Whatever. No, but that's what so he knows. So now you can't say, oh, but it's not, it's not, it's not his fault. Yeah, his job is to fix it. Yeah, and, and, but he <laughs> said, and he said, I can. Yeah. That's why he's he absolutely. That's why he signed on the dotted yeah. line. So yeah, once once he put he a gun to his head. Once he signed on the dotted line, he said, you know what? I know all this, but I'm gonna fix it. 
I don't want to hear the, yeah. yeah, but it's not his fault. Yeah, but, no, no, but, no, 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 but there's certain honestly. things he's that I agree. No, but, no, but, he didn't he doesn't like, have no, to do this. but he didn't sign it saying that, yeah, I'm going to fix everything in six months. No. Facts. And it's still early doors. Yeah. But my thing is you sign knowing that this, this uh, ownership invests. You don't sign knowing that they're going to bring your youth club, bro. You don't plan to be yeah, saying, yeah, I'm going to have a team here. Look at the look at the players no, but of course. But then what does that team then just need afterwards? Now invest with experience. And obviously, yes, the yeah. ownership have time. And to be fair, there's positives in the fact players, that they are in- Experienced players want to play Champions League football. And they but, sold absolutely, a absolutely. And exactly. And, players, and that, comes down, to, again, that yeah. comes down to gross negligence from ownership. These things are not things that I can put on Poch, even if he signs up for it. Agreed. Because at the end of the day, he has to, deal, he has to play with the hands that he's been dealt. Mm. Now coming into the job, they're telling him about players that he doesn't know are rolling up in his squad. Yeah. Bro, the like press conference is he saying, who's my man? No, do you know what he's saying? That sir. shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, my like, oh, who? <laughs> Brother, he has players that he's not, he doesn't even know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but do you know what it is? I, I'm, I'm giving, that's what I'm saying. With Chelsea, I'm giving the sort of, and the same sort of um, treatment that I'm giving United in the sense of, Wait, they they need, yeah, they need, they, they need time. They need their injuries to come back. They need obviously a full squad. They need time for this pro project to at least marinate a little bit. Mm. I think everything right now is just too chaotic. I feel like when Chelsea, when I now when I just think I just think it's too messy. Broski, when I, you I spend eight hundred, when is, you, when you spend eight hundred mil yeah. from January to the summer, again yeah. it might be harsh and it's not it all on yeah, yeah. But bro, there are expectations when it comes to clubs of this stature mm -hmm. that spend mm -hmm. this amount of money. So harsh or not, this is the reality, man. And Chelsea fans, more yeah. than anyone, we yeah. know how they are. It's oh, a yeah. demanding fan base. Actually, yeah. This is what I say about the ownership again. You've come into a, uh, an unforgiving fan base yeah. who have high standards and have tried to sell, send them a project with Graham Potter and that completely failed. You bought in Pochettino and, and you're still going for this long term thing. Well, We're not going to see Chelsea fans happy with this for too much longer. This isn't the Chelsea way, bro. There's no, not how this is. They were booing yeah. Ben Chilwell already. Uh, is, yeah, I mean, yeah. He's coming to applaud. He's a new captain. They're booing him. The standards are there. It's Chelsea no, football but, club. But one thing with Chelsea fans have to understand and they have to accept is that that era is over. It's over, of course. It's yeah. finished. So this is a whole new, so they have to kind of close that chapter and now to start giving again, patience. It's a patience. Agreed, Give agreed. Time. But it's, Let's see it's how not things not easy for develop. Chelsea, bro, they, they weren't willing to give Frank Lampard time. This is the I'm greatest saying, ever player. They weren't willing to give him more than a year. And I'm not saying they should have, yeah. but my point is like this whole thing of wait and see what happens. Yeah. They weren't willing to wait and see it. Yeah. No, no, but my thing is this. Poch right now, former Spurs If anything, they'll go on They already, facts. They can turn on him just like this tomorrow. Of course they can. You saw what happened with Graham Potter. But the thing is, they're not going to, they look, for that, I think Chelsea would be very, very, very naive to be like, you know what, it's not working, and then sack him, and then bring in a whole another manager, go through the same process again, and then sack that manager because they're gonna just keep going backwards. They're gonna, they, literally, they're gonna just continue, of course, falling down. But Chelsea yeah. fans' is a, uh, response to that will yeah. because they've seen Thomas Tuchel come in in six months and win Champions yeah. League, because they've seen Di Matteo yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, they that, they're just wired differently, bro. And like you're asking there, Chelsea bro. fans to forget twenty years of a culture that they've created, like that. The culture yeah, created. That's that that that, no, that culture they created. They have thrown they, in the bin. They have to, but it's it's, it's been thrown in the bin. Said and done. It's the same thing as asking United fans like me saying, "Oh, go through another ten years of this." Like it's not. Well, this is my thing though with Chelsea fans. They the, the, the quicker they can accept that that error is 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 over. No, but how can because you ask no, them to adjust bro, like that? You bro. finished twelve last season. I know, bro, but they finished before crazy, and they won the league. Finished yeah. last Never season. They've 12. done that before. Not twelve is insane. I'm saying they finished where they shouldn't be expected they to finish. Finish, and eight, one, they finished tenth. Exactly. So then where's their where's their standards? If I finish twelve, why am I not trying? Exactly. Or so that's why they that's what has how they're still wired. You guys have to. I wanted to see if the stat was brought up. Chelsea have won six games in 2023. Bro. That was a bit, yeah, yeah. Enzo Fernandez, Enzo Fernandez, I think, has what, yeah, won one game at home since yeah, he joined, since Chelsea. He joined the club. Yeah. Like, bro, we're, we're past now. Like, I'm complaining about United, bro. Like I said, we just finished third last season. Like, I'm, a, I'm a pretty spoiled fan in the grand mm. scheme of things. Chelsea just finished 12th. It's a disgrace. And now they're what, 14th? 14th. Chelsea fans must be thinking they're like, it's a nightmare right now. Like, they, mm. they're just waiting to wake up. So asking them to, to, to keep going through with this, keep going through this, how mm. much longer are they, they're supposed to go a whole calendar year yeah. mm. sitting in 14th well, they're overall. They're at home to Nottingham Forest. That's crazy. No, but, no, but the thing is, okay, so <laughs> I, when I, okay, you, when we, we're coming up with solutions, yeah, we have to understand what the advantage of it and what's the disadvantage. Yeah, if, we, if we, get, if you get rid of Pochettino, what happens? I'm not saying get rid of him. No, no, no I'm saying, no, I'm just yeah, saying, I I, know, I, like, let's say the pressure's on him, right? Yeah. And everyone's, there's some people already call and say, I, I, I don't trust this Poch guy, I, I want him out. You get him out, you bring in another manager with the same group of players, with yeah. under the same ownership. That's, that's the thing what's, too. What's, this what's, is it, but this is the, the issue. That, that's really the no, but this is the yeah. issue when ownership is the problem. Yeah. When ownership is the problem, that means that no matter how many managers you bring right. out brother, and you do it again, it's going to be an issue. Like the Glazers would have an issue with signing yeah. players for marketing reasons. And I remember I said this the other day too. Yeah. 
their issue is signing young, experienced talent that they, uh, inexperienced talent that they hope is going to boom and then they can flip. Mm -hmm. Like the way that the ownership is going about it isn't just wrong it being Chelsea, it's wrong for a football club, in my opinion. And they yeah. had, they were supposedly had these anti Glazer rules whenever um, Chelsea were being taken over. Apparently, that hasn't been respected because, yes, they've, they were told they have to invest 1.5 billion. They've already taken 1 billion already. Yeah. They've already invested so much, so much of that already. Now we look at what is truly their intentions with this club. Is it a flip for them? Is that what the ownership are trying to do? Because if it is, then call that is crazy. gross negligence. Call me bro. crazy. I would rather have Chelsea's owners than Man United's owners. Of course. Because yeah. at least because Chelsea... You, yeah, own, I hear that. Yeah, because they're making, they might be making... Okay, we, uh, cause, like, no, no, but hear what I'm saying. No, no. Take no, 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 because I'm saying... <laughs> no, no, because he's, no, no, I'm saying I'm saying because the way you're saying it, because you're, 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 you're yeah. comparing the two. Yeah, no, but he's comparing the two. That's why I'm mentioning it. Yeah, because at least they have an owner that's... You can see they're hungry to succeed. No, they of course, because in they're investing. In yeah, 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 they want to. They want to make changes. Poorly. Yeah, yeah, that's well, what I'm saying. It's just it's, it's just that investments that make it. There's no football in people at all. I'm looking at the yeah. team they're playing. Right, they're starting. Yes, love this it. This made me laugh. No, because he was comparing the two. You I know, but he was trying to like say, "Yo, it's similar." That this team is unrecognizable from Chelsea just two years ago. Yeah, it's completely it's completely different team. I can't think of a single player. Ben Shaw was the only one, I think. He didn't even start. So this go. team is a complete unrecognizable team. And here's Chelsea. the here's the yeah. biggest this issue you know, now just, for just Chelsea. Two years ago. This isn't Chelsea. To your no. point, mm. again, you can talk about sacking managers at this point. There is one constant with this Chelsea team. It's the players, bro. Yeah. They are all on seven-year contracts. Yeah. This squad yeah, is in it for the long haul, bro. Mm. So if you don't like the players, deal with it, bro. Yeah, yeah, you'll have a good yeah. team in about four years, boys. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Keep, <laughs> keep going at it. You might have a decent yeah. team in four yeah, years. You might, you, yeah. might, you, so, might, you might win the championship. So honestly, you can talk <laughs> like every any manager. You talk, you talk about, oh, a manager comes in and gets <laughs> his own players. I feel like any manager that comes in now has almost dealt with this team. Mm. They are, it's not really like they're going to be able to come in and bring five or six of yeah, their own yeah. players. I feel like any manager that comes in now has to look at this squad and say, okay, I have to make the most out of it. Yeah, but I think if you look at this squad, I think they, they, they play, they play, they're not, they're not, like, when they're I'm watching, okay. they're not bad. They're, okay. yeah, they, they're they, creating chances. They should have scored, they should have won this game. Like you said yeah. earlier, they just need that goal scorer of somebody that's got the experience of, again, putting the ball in the back of the net, at least in the Premier League. Yeah. I think if they can get at least that, but they've had that issue progress. for years. No, but I'm saying, if they can progress sort that, to what level? that hole, if they can at least get yeah. a, 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 somebody of that mold, like mm. you were saying, getting the goals, then... Yeah. Dude, they might oh, what happened to uh, the Drogba region? Who? The Diego Costa oh. region. Uh, who, Nico uh, Jackson. Nico Jackson. Oh, Austin. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Faisal. Faisal loves to bring up his old takes crimes. except when they're wrong. Right, listen. <laughs> yeah, 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 he never, he never brings them up when they're wrong. Yeah. Uh, he needs to come here. He needs to ask for his crimes. He had a bad game. He's a bad player. He's a good player. This is where we sometimes disagree on strikers. I know you love your strikers who give every, like they have all around play. I love that as well too. I think in the modern game, you have to No, but you have to be able to finish your chances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can talk about XGX. This is like almost yeah. like the Darwin Nunez situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Legit, legit. At yeah. some point, like it's always good until you stop winning. Darwin Nunez at the beginning when he was missing chances, they were winning games. So but the minute matter. you're Gabriel Jesus, the same thing. The minute you're losing games or not winning games and your striker is not scoring, that's where it starts to become an issue. So Bournemouth for sure, mm. yeah. But listen, Bournemouth on the other hand did really well. Good frustrated point, Chelsea yeah. kept the, the obviously the clean sheet, even though they didn't win themselves. Um, we got a Bournemouth fan actually sent in some analysis. He said. The most complete performance from us during Ariola's reign. Just a shame we couldn't top it off with a goal, mm. especially considering we looked the better team, specifically in the second half. Yep. Ariola's uh, conviction in pressing every team, uh, every team we play is so exciting to watch. And considering we took points off all these top eight teams, shows we really want to compete in Europe uh, in the next three to five years. So obviously, Bournemouth fans are, are are still are still not upset. Obviously. Mm. They're still searching for their first win, but they've had a tough start to the season. They played West Ham, they played Liverpool, they played Spurs, they played Chelsea now. So they've had a, a tough start to the season. But have next, uh, they have Brighton away next. Doesn't get any easier. Tough, and then man. Arsenal, but after yeah, that, the league is tough, yeah. man. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, that was our ball. That's the way they're hitting that that run of games, isn't it? The Who, Chelsea. Chelsea. It's you know. only gonna get worse for them. October man. is yeah. brazy. Chelsea yeah. in yeah. October have uh, uh, or. End of October going into November. They have Arsenal at home, Brentford at home, Spurs away, City at home, Newcastle away, Brighton at home, Man United away, Everton away. I can't see them winning. Damn. Any of them. Uh, yeah, I can't see them winning. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Game. That's a scary fiction. I can't see them winning any That's of them. That's what I'm saying. If they solve this number nine issue, there's still bigger issues for them to come in the, in the yeah. future, bro. Yeah, it was, it was one less problem though if they at least get a goal scorer. At least get a goal scorer. <laughs> one less problem. They need in Google back. Honestly, they need in Google back. That is, that would be yeah, that's yeah, huge yeah. as well. It's looking long for them. But next game, we go over to uh, up north to Newcastle against Brentford. Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. 
versus uh, Brentford. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever do that. Away, man. Away, the lads. Away, the lads. I'm sure you can do a good one. Nah, chill out, chill out. Yeah, you're usually good with your impersonation. You do that, man. Chill out, chill out. Away, the lads. Away, the lads. Chill out, chill out. Away, the lads. Chill out, chill out. Away, the lads. You're good with your impersonation. Yeah, man. Chill out. Lead them to me, Shaq. All right, go on then. Give me Newcastle one. Nah, nah, chill out. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Uh, Newcastle <laughs> versus uh, Brentford 1-0 Newcastle narrow win mm. Callum Wilson with a penalty um, Newcastle have the most Premier League wins against Brentford since they were promoted in 2021 which wow. is so obviously they they know how to beat them um, Newcastle right now though they're not having the greatest start to the season they're in top place it's been rough mm. two wins three losses I was really high on them as well two start of the season but uh, yeah we'll see how it goes I, I, I like that uh, Eddie Howe kind of well, he showed some tactical flexibility. He kind of mm. switched it up because clearly it's not been working. Harvey Barnes came out on the left. And, uh, Gordon played on the right because I think Almiron was really struggling. Yeah. And they brought in the kid. What's his name? Elliot Anderson. Yeah. Mm. Uh, for Joe Ellington, mm. which I think, fair enough, that's probably to rest him ahead of Milan in midweek, but kind of gives them a different element, I think, in midfield. And they looked better this game. No, yeah. Different dynamic. Newcastle, my biggest worry for them this year is that the last three games, although I think they were unlucky in some games, I almost felt like they're starting to get figured out a little bit. Yeah. And I look at the manager. Like Eddie Howe at some point had to kind of fix shit up because I'm worried for him really. If Newcastle are to fall sixth, seventh, eighth, this is an ambitious project. Mm -hmm. He he can very easily see the back door. But Quickly. he he fair credit to him. Switched up the team. They looked better this weekend. So we yeah, and go. playing with Callum Wilson rather than he's like through through the middle. It just with Barnes and Gordon both. They're both direct wingers. Like we say, we're going to be taking on your fullback. They're going to be trying to provide a service mm -hmm. for the. For the number nine, and I think that suits them. And it was, I agree, it was, uh, it was nice to see that Eddie Howe change that up. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah, to, no, to even sure. the, he he rested Tonali as well too. So yeah, it was, it was long staff, Bruno and, and Anderson. Uh, Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. I like yeah. Anderson by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah Anderson's a good player. player. What do we think for for both Newcastle and Brentford this season? Because right now, obviously, neither of them have had the strongest start of the season. Mm. Brentford are currently in eleventh, Newcastle in twelfth. Brentford's got one win, Newcastle's got two. Brentford have been drawing a lot; they've got three draws. Mm -hmm. What we think of both of those teams because they're both impressive uh, last season. They've had good seasons. Well, Newcastle had a tough start to the season. Look at the teams they played. Yeah. So, like I yeah. already you know, played, City, yeah. already played Liverpool. So already, it's only going to get uh, easier uh, for them really well, in terms Brighton. of run of fixtures. Um, whereas Brentford, I'm a little bit worried about them though. Really? Yeah, just a little bit. Just they, they're just struggling just to get through. Like they play good football, don't get twisted. Mm. But they just, I don't know. Obviously, without Tony now, you just lack Free, that yeah. little bit at the other end, that final third. I think. And Buemo can only do so much. Yeah. They're relying yeah. on the SDS boys as well. Yeah. 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 Wissa and Elias. Wissa and Buemo. They're saying, that, they're saying that's the most minutes Rin is getting all season, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Like, I don't <laughs> he's, in, he's in the background that's why I've said it um, you can give us a scouting report because their next game Newcastle is Milan yeah. away San Siro yeah, yeah yeah obviously you can give us a scouting report yeah. what do you think about it I mean look people were talking about Newcastle 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 they look in trouble but Milan on the weekend based on what I saw from Milan yeah. boy they're in trouble bro yeah. bro they're in trouble and I think Newcastle I don't know if they'll be able to replicate what they did last year. Maybe I was a little too high on them start of the season because I, I, after the first game against Villa, I was thinking, wow, yeah, 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 you're these guys are a problem. Yeah, you're I, I, I still say, along with Liverpool, I really like watching Newcastle, mm -hmm. but I do worry as well. Like The biggest worry with them was obviously going to be can they balance both competitions. So I guess we'll find out this weekend. Yeah, and on, yeah, yeah. In, on top of uh, for Brentford, I hear what you're saying, mm -hmm. but I think Brentford have kind of solidified themselves now as like a team that can finish like yeah, that's for say, sure, tenth through fourteenth. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, figure yeah. they're going to finish that way too. Maybe yeah. if they had Tony, they could aim to push a little a further bit Europa yeah. League push. Yeah, but I, they'll be okay. Yeah, no, I do have some upsetting push. news for you. What's up? Uh, the Brentford game, Rico Henry, done his ACL. Oh no! That game against Newcastle, man. Oh no! Ever since I put him in the team, everything's going downhill for him, man. <laughs> Rico Lewis is out ACL. No, Rico Henry. Yeah. Rico Henry, yeah, Rico Lewis, yeah. Rico Henry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh my days. Damn. Suffered an injury to his left ACL during Saturday's game against Newcastle. Mm. I can't lie, though. ACLs these days, I feel people recover in like two weeks, bro. <laughs> they come back quicker, like. Guys in the Drake. They come back. <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? Yeah, Rico Henry, man. He's in my team as well. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, like, yeah. Rico, man. Shut up, boy. <laughs> Oh, you love it. <laughs> the, the, the Drake team. Yeah, the way he was, I thought he was, he was like so faking it, bro. Yeah. I'm faking it, he's on my field yeah. team. So, oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me, man. <laughs> 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 
shout out to Rick Henry. Is it my team? I, I feel like you yeah. put some sort of cross. I did, I did, didn't it? Started. Crazy, yeah, he crazy. Did, uh, he did the Cancelo thing. What's that yeah. like? What did yeah, he do? Left started, back, speed. Left back, Cancelo. He put Rick Henry. He was the only one that put him. Remember when we did the top outside Oh, so you didn't put him in. Why were you celebrating? No, he's in my FPL team, man. Oh, FPL. It was a celebrating guy. Who did I have a left back? Everyone had a stupid hand. Oh, yeah. Everyone had a stupid hand and he had Rick Henry. I couldn't believe he did that as well. Yeah. To be fair, I forgot about his stupid hand. I forgot about <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, we got he was saying, and I was but on the say. part where you arguing for him heavy. <laughs> no, he no, was no, so sweet, and I was going to say, no, 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 yeah, what's the le- what's the gap? What's the gap between the two? Stupid was the best left back in the league. It's not big. Year. It's not huge. It's not a huge difference between the two. I really can't read. Really. <laughs> I'm lying though. It's not a huge difference. Yeah, but what we're laughing at is how are nine people having one player and you're the and only also five hundred people who are there. Yeah, so. exactly. So apparently the gap is huge. You are different, bro. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm different. different. Yeah, <laughs> different, I'm different. Man. Yeah, um, I'm different. Uh, we got Brentford fan Keenan Law who usually gets <laughs> involved. Uh, he said, "Tough." Don't read it. Tough result. Oh. Tough result for the Bees as they hung tough at St. James's Park, but ultimately took their first loss of the season 1-0. The game was pretty even for the most part, but Newcastle did create more and deserved to win on the day. Mm. Definitely some positives to take from the match, though, as they showed they can compete with any side in the league on a given week. You agree with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah good, yeah. good yeah. take. Brentford can compete with every side in the league, to be fair, yeah. uh, on, on every, any given week. But yeah, Milan against Newcastle, that's going to be an interesting game. That is today, uh, probably, I mean, if you watch the podcast as soon as it's come out. That'd be a good game. That's straight yeah. after this. Straight after this, it'll be a good game. It's gonna be interesting because um, now the Champions League is back. Obviously, well, it's not back in the Champions League. <laughs> Let me hear the music. Let me hear the music. Are they? Let's see the lights. <laughs> oh, wow, man. I almost forgot. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Hello, hello, hello. We got a podcast. Sorry, hello, sorry. sorry we got if a podcast. you are going to the Champions League game, obviously I'll be there. If you can't see me in the crowd, just go outside. Uh, oh, you'll see me on the yeah, stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. You'll see me on the stadium and just Crazy. take a picture of me, you know, Champions League. Smile. I can't lie, I hear it, bro. If, if, if yeah, that was me, yeah, I would never shut up. Your face is at all Trafford. Yeah, yeah, I'd never yeah, shut up. True, I don't true. mention it enough. On my yeah, life, yeah, on my life I'd more. put it in my bio. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, SDS I, member, uh, VR football. On, on, oh, yeah, on, and I'm also on Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mention it enough. Yeah. Bro, I take a detour. My seat. Wait, you say you don't mention it? I swear you're. I swear you're. I'll do that every time. I'll do the same. I'll do the same. your header is that? It's not my pin tweet. Oh, your pin tweet, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, that's okay. my pin tweet. Um, but yeah, so yeah, obviously Newcastle was Brentford. Yeah. Good result for Newcastle. Let's see if that carries on. Obviously, they got the Champions League midweek and then they go straight back into the league games. Probably gets a bit easier for them, the fixtures. I think it does because they have Sheffield away. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have City in the cup. Then have Burnley, then have Champions League, PSG. So That's it's like, tough. yeah, they're yeah, 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 yeah. But in the league, it's looking pretty decent for them. To be them. fair, though, all four teams in that group, I know we did Champions League week. Uh, Prediction the other week. Go check that out, guys. <laughs> but all four of those teams really haven't started the season that well. PSG, oh, Newcastle, so. Milano, Dorman. No, I'm putting yeah. the pod, man. Come on. I'm yeah. representing SDS, yeah. bro. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> but no. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, just the club. Chill out, man. All right. A couple more games. We need to get through these because we've had a long one today. Uh, Villa versus Palace. What a result for Aston Villa. 3-1. They're looking good, man. I mean, obviously, some people were saying that even though they made all those signings, they don't think they're going to do that well. Who was any of them? You guys were any of them? Do we remember anyone who said that? Oh, no, yeah, who was the people who said that? I remember someone on the podcast. Who was saying that was overhyped? Someone was saying overhyped. Face had him high. I was like, he loves Pau Torres. He doesn't mm. let us hear the yeah, end yeah. of it. Every time he passes yeah, the ball yeah, six yeah, yards yeah, forward, yeah, he's, he's like, like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> but, but oh, listen, oh, this was another one. This is yeah. similar to the Spurs game. Obviously, it wasn't a comeback, but. It was 1-1 mm-hmm. until um, Villa made it 2-1 in the 98th the minute oh my and God. 3-1 in the 101st minute. So same mm-hmm. as Tottenham, it just was just from a draw to a win. Yeah, Yabby yeah. yeah, has wheels, by the way, bro. The 90, uh, nine, oh, 101 minutes in, the guy's still sprinting mm. full speed yeah, ahead. Yeah, crazy. It's a crazy. Bailey's play. goal as well. That's that's the one I'm talking yeah. about. Diaby, yeah. just his speed to, to get on the end of that is crazy. Nah, he's cooking at the moment. Yeah. Diaby, yeah. yeah, he's cooking. Tillemans as well, very impressive. Mm. He was involved in both the second and third goal. Good technician. Telemans, uh, like anyone fans of Te- Yuri? I think, yeah, I think I people have started disrespecting yeah. him, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, people, like, he had Just a... one of the, one that, of the I best think talents. That, no, Remember, world football no, early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and the like, Do you know what really yeah. ruined FM, him? FM what, what ruined his rep? That one video. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think that one video where he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like he could not chase up. I think Correct. that, 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 that yeah. really ruined his reps. Football is really very yeah. reactionary. Like, is, I've been talking about it all week. I mean, like one moment, one tweet, one mm. action, one clip can completely make or break your reputation. Absolutely. Telemans, mm-hmm. we're forgetting, bro. This was a guy Arsenal wanted. Barca were linked to him. United yeah, were linked, linked to him. Yeah. Yeah. This is not suddenly a bad player. Does he have his flaws? Absolutely. Physically, yeah. especially. Yeah. But in terms of technicians, I think he's up there in terms of technique, passing, yeah. set pieces in the league. I so, got a shot. And I need to get him, for, him. I need to get, yeah, of course, yeah, he's, yeah, not a, yeah. he's not a world class player, but to get him yeah. on a free for Villa, that's not great business. That's great business, not for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's 10 wins in a row at home for Villa as well. Yeah. They're mm. making they're a, a bit of a fortress. Unai. Villa Park, Unai. a fortress. Yeah. Become a bit of a fortress. Yeah, 10 wins in a row at home for Villa. Um, Odson as well, as well, who people were saying was the worst striker in the I, league. I think I was saying that. Yeah, he's, 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 he's I, I, finish. I, I was, I was, uh, that's a few was few out of saying he's, that. He scored. Yeah, he scored. I, 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 he, I don't think he's that bad. Right, this year he's playing amazing. Yeah. Apparently, he scored. He scored yeah. four of uh, Palace's seven goals this season in the Premier League. He's just netted one fewer than he did across the whole of last season. Z- Zaha was holding him back. <laughs> hey, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. And uh, Roy Hodgson wasn't even at the game. No, of course, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, he's feeling better. Hey, right, he'll love Roy Hodgson. Not for Roman. that's a Prem cult hero. What we're thinking about uh, Villa and Palace this season, where you think they're going to end up? They're both D and okay right now. Villa are in seventh, Palace are in ninth. Uh, wow, right Palace are in ninth. Yeah. yeah, good for them. Two wins, one draw, and two losses. Yeah, they'll, they'll both finish around mid table anyway. No, I, th- I think yeah, I think Villa can. Yeah. Well, they're in Europe too, right? We'll see how they can balance yeah. both competitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I can see them winning that competition anyway. They got the yeah. reason why they got all these, these bodies in is because they need it. Yeah, no, to be fair, Villa have pretty good depth. Yeah, yeah. they do. Yeah. They do. I, I think in do especially okay. in midfield. They're definitely one of the favorites in that tournament anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. and I am in Europe and as yeah, well, too. Cool. All right, cool. Yeah, so big up um, um, Villa for the win. Big up Alton Edouard for proving the ass wrong. Um, next game, we have two games left. Forest versus Burnley and Fulham versus Luton. Forest versus Burnley, all square 1-1 in that game. Just happened. We watched it just before the podcast started. Mm. What a goal by Callum Hudson. Callum Hudson, what a wow, finish. Wow, what a finish. Kids still got it, man. Mm. Hey, mm. but he's highly rated. They mm. well, talent. Bayern, that's Bayern, leave you. Bayern are going to sign him for like eighty million before he even made his Chelsea mm. debut. The guy made his England debut before he even made his Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. I really hope he finds he revitalizes his career, man. There's just so much talent in there. Forest is the place. I, I hope so. But even if he stays mm. in and around that level, I just want him to just be able to play consistently and and, and us be able to watch him. Yeah, you never want to see players like that. Feed never, bro. Because I remember when they were all youngsters and all these guys were youngsters, and it was Foden and Sanch and all of these guys. This guy was the guy that was running the show in the mingling team. Yeah, was crazy. This, oh, this guy is see, the talent is there. So hopefully he's, he finds his feet again. At, mm. yeah, the goal is insane too. Brilliant bro. finish, yeah. bro. Great, great finish. Like yeah, that's a, the, goal, the yeah. typical cut in. You yeah. know, a lot of players can do that. So he did it on again. I like that. I like that sound effect though. That, that was, was good. good. Let the me hit that in the shum. You know, yeah. shum. <laughs> no, he didn't say say it properly. He said it last. I don't know how I did it. How did it? Shum. Oh yeah, it was nice, isn't it? Yeah, it was good. I like that. He's right. It was a good sound effect. Um. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, how many of your players can do that? Damn, glazing. How many crazy, can we have? Yeah. Like, I can't come with my host. Crazy. I like it. Thank you, man. How many of our players? See you next week. Nuts. Yeah, there yeah, you go. See you next week. You're going to get some. Glazing, you're going to get, 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 get some. Calm down. You're going to get some. Get some air, man. He said, come for some air. Come for some air, man. You're doing tricks on it. You're doing crazy tricks on it, man. How many of our players can do it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, how many other players can do that kind of goal? Rashford can do it. Yeah. Rashford can finesse. Hold on, can put it top. Can put it top bins. <laughs> well, that was. Hold on, hold on. You can, can knock a bullet, but that was no. But what, 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 what was the noise? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. When Rashford does it, no, but, no, but, he's no, but what, what did he? Uh, he Anthony can do that. Anthony can no, do that. That's not what he said though. That's what he said though. He said how many players in that in that area can just put it top bins like that? Rashford can do it. Anthony can do it. The, oh, other, the, other, the other Cho can't do it. <laughs> Sancho. <laughs> yeah, that brother, that brother can't do it. That brother got weak legs, bro. <laughs> the, other the other Cho is crazy. <laughs> the other Cho is crazy. <laughs> That's mental. That's crazy. He ain't bro. doing that also shit, man. Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. What about, what about, nah, nah, but the other way. Cho can. Garnacho. Yeah! Garnacho can do that. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Palestri, can you do it? I don't. Hey, maybe. What about the other Cho? Who's yeah, not true. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, 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 you lost me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just sitting here going, I was going to do this when I see Lee But I'll sit in the going, Cho, Cho. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Not sure. Yeah, go cold, cold. Who can think of another Cho right now? Not sure. 
Nacho. Morel Which one? Or the Real Madrid? No, no Nacho. No Nacho could do that. No Nacho could do that. Who else? Who else is that? Cholo Simeone. Ah, chill out. What the hell is he doing? What the hell is he doing? This ain't mastermind, man. Chill out, man. This ain't mastermind, man. Let's get out of here, man. This guy, well, this guy's mastermind, man. Come on, man. Okay. Uh, but yeah, what a finish by like what a what finish by Callum on the door. Uh, Bournemouth, Burnley actually went up two one. Burnley actually went up two one. Uh, Lyle Foster yeah. scored, yeah, goal got disallowed. But yeah. was it really a handball? Hey, uh, intentionally, it was it intentionally though. That's the thing. I don't get the handball rule now. So it's such a huge grey area. We don't know what the officials and the with sorry. everything nowadays, man. Lie, bro. It's grey with everything. Offside. Oh, what's meant to now be objective is still subjective. Mm. The so problem is they put into place. They say human error, and then they add more humans. They add machines, mm-hmm. and then. Humans that run the machines. Humans that run the machines. It makes no sense. So like, it makes no sense. <laughs> there was one. There was no, one. Let's say the Premier League is a joke. Let's ask you a joke. And that's the, the top level. Joke. That's the top level of football. We're trying to eliminate the human error by having more humans. Yeah, There's more jobs for humans. You have to run the machines. That's why AI is coming, bro. AI is going to put all these incompetent guys. Who's the AI on? There's still someone there. No, but my point is AI is going to get smart enough that it's going to boot these guys out themselves, bro. I hope so. The revolution will not be televised. We're all done out here. <laughs> well, lie, this brother don't run out of bars. You don't read enough. Well, lie, you don't run out of bars. Bro, what the hell is this? Oh, oh, shit. He said you're uneducated. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. With my vocabulary, if you said that to him, I get that. You need to chill out. Man, when I, got, I got a degree, though. Oh, in on. what? What's your degree in? Yeah. Biochemistry. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. right. yeah. 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 He's got a degree as well. Hey, there. what about you? What's your degree? I got a degree as well. Yeah, degree. let's hear from some Forest <laughs> fans after the game. We've got Paris. Uh, Paris Key, uh, <laughs> who says. Um, Paris Sky. Oh, it's about ski. 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 Paris Ski. <laughs> Paris, Paris Sky. Paris Sky. Doing one. <laughs> <laughs> Who just whistled? Did he whistle? Did he whistle? Did he whistle? Did he whistle? No, no. He <laughs> <He's good>. Paris <laughs> Sky <laughs> says, brilliant game, Forest versus Burnley. A lot of VAR involved. Brilliant goal for Hudson Odoi. He couldn't have asked for a better Everything debut. Everything is brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant Forrest, not joking. Forrest <laughs> did get lucky with the ref ruling out the second goal for Burnley, though, as I don't believe it was an intentional handball. Forrest are currently in eighth place in the table. Not bad for a team that everyone thought would have a short stay in the Prem. Why are you reading so well, Why did you read it like that, bro? And they also played against Arsenal United. Uh, just for people that leave, isn't it? <laughs> Forrest Gump, who's another yeah, Forrest fan, says, not the result he wanted, but we'll take it. We started off much better and we're by far the better team till the goal. We, we were by far the better team till the goal. Having a centre-back partnership with Worrell and McKenna ain't it. I'm hoping Nia Kate, yeah. Nia Kate can come back quickly as it's desperately needed. Uh, not what we wanted, but we move on to the hardest fixture of the year. Next, City away. Mm. That's the tough. final nice game. Place to go. Final game, Fulham versus Luton. 1-0 Fulham at Craven Cottage. A um, couple of analysis by Asib. None, none of the three teams promoted to the Premier League for 2023 <laughs> to 2034. 23 to th- 34, you wrote. You mean 23 to 24? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading what it says. Look, I'm just reading what it says. 2023 20, 20, 20, 34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, verbatim, bro. I, I don't read really verbatim, bro. I'm reading everything you're saying. Uh, but none of but, but none of the newly promoted teams, <laughs> none of the newly promoted teams have won a game yet. Um, Vinicius as well made an instant impact when he came on. He's the one that scored. Yeah. Um, he needs to start. He needs to be starting at this point. Mitch, which is gone. Why can't he just start up front for them? Mm. Uh, seven points in five games out of uh, put Fulham in a solid position. When will Luton win a game? That hey, is the Luton, question. Twenty thirty four. That's when they're going to so, win a game. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much for participating in the Premier League, man. Thank you so much, Luton, man. You're done. Absolutely. Can I say this? I, yeah, done, man. I, I we, was enjoyed, we, ha- we enjoyed having you here, guys, but you're done. Man. I was hearing enjoyed someone the say the other day, they were ranking the bottom three Premier League managers and like they basically put both the Sheffield United one and uh, the Luton one. And they were saying the only reason these two teams got promoted was because of how bad the championship was last year. Like, apparently, yeah. it was like a historically bad season mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in the championship. And I look at them and, bro, Makes sense. pour one out for Leicester, bro. We sacrificed yeah. these guys for teams that are undoubtedly, in my opinion, worse in Sheffield yeah. United. Oh, Leicester and flying. Yeah. Bro, of course they, yeah. they, they, they are. Already, they were, for me, okay, they, every... This guy actually pulled one out. What's that for? This guy, this guy lost his mind. pour it out. You, it you lost your mind. Yeah, I got myself, though. This guy is insane. 
I don't even know what I'm, I'm saying anymore. After, record, <laughs> after you record it for a certain amount of time, even he loses his money. No, as well. big up yeah. Leicester though. They're, they're flying. They're flying. They're flying. They're they're they got, they got, but they got like a pre- Premier League standard player still in yeah. the team. And they got like, Pep's four. No, yeah. Drewsbury yeah. Hall. Yeah. That midfield: Wilson, Drewsbury Hall. Oh, no, yeah. Winks, Winks. Drewsbury Hall, no. and then Didi. That's the Premier League midfield. Drewsbury Hall's flying in the championship. I'm not surprised. Wow. They got that guy on the left too, Ma- Mavidi. Um, Arsenal yeah. boy, yeah. Steffi Mavididi. Yeah, get in we there. Get in team. there and make it a very Arsenal boy. <laughs> <laughs> we saw he left us for Juventus. I remember, man. Anyways, yeah, Le- Leicester, Leicester are better than Luton. <laughs> I like it. Mm-hmm. Stop joking. Let's go. Yeah. Arsenal, Arsenal, yeah. Arsenal, Arsenal. We're talking about Luton and Fulham. Oh right? yeah, losing to Fulham. Yeah, Luton have Lukonga. <laughs> Fulham have William and Leno. Arsenal boys. Nah, I make it by yourself. <laughs> Is he done yet? No more Arsenal boys no, in there. Let us know when you're finished. Good, good, good. You sure? Your boy Tim Ream was man in the match though. Oh, he's not my boy. American man. So that's your patriot. So, so what? Hold on. Every English player is your boy. USA. I'm English. USA. 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 We have no survival players. We got. We, we got. All so. champions of what? <laughs> <laughs> The United States? The United States? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love the United States. <laughs> Spot on. Hey, that's the best in prison. No lie, that guy was too accurate. This guy's not allowed. No believer. I can't that believe this. No, I love that, love that video. <laughs> that video is my favorite video. I mean, don't get me <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I don't love it. Where did that go? Please. Where did that go? He's the biggest W of 2020. Incredible, bro. Incredible. He was so offended. He had the whole NBA on strings. Anyways, Luton, bro. We're going to talk about them. Yeah, yeah, go on. I got nothing to say, man. <laughs> I got nothing you to say. You said they're going to stay up. For, you said they're going to stay up. Huh? I, hold on. Huh? I, I, hold on. Hey. Let me finish. Is that what you said? No, I said they were gonna step out of pure hope and faith. There was no tactical. Vo- There's no, no hope, faith. There's nothing. nothing. Yeah, they're done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say we got it wrong. But we're Bro. predicting. Me, Elias, and Fuad were predicting when they're gonna get the first win. Yeah, that's the game right now. Hey, 20, tw- 2034, bro. <laughs> 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 not waiting until then, bro. That's the that's the game. Um, what's the? What's I think they beat. Can I said Tottenham. Can I see their, their fixture? I already said Tottenham. Uh, to- no, United. They're gonna beat United. Bro, we're gonna go to Luton. They're go, no, they're going to Old Trafford in November. 11th. Have some no, respect. We're hello. going to Luton's ground, and they're hello, gonna hello. go. Oh. Have some respect please. for for what? Had, Habibi, calm down. I'm telling you, remember calm Bournemouth? Down. They scored calm the other corner on us. Calm down. Guys, the king goes self sabotage. This is what I'm saying, bro. This is I, him. You think I need the self sabotage? Self deprecation. Oh look at me! I'm in pain. I'm a victim. Give me a fight. Why does everyone have the same voice? Why does everyone? Anyone who annoys you, don't got the same voice. Oh my god! Shut up. <laughs> Luton might beat Manchester United if they do. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, give him blows. <laughs> <laughs> On my life, yo, that's where we end. They're the gonna round do up. SDS sofa yeah, score after this. You're getting zero out of ten. That's where the roundup ends. Had a stinker. That's where the roundup ends. Big up Fulham. Big up Fulham for the win. Big up Fulham for the win. Big up Luton for keeping the score down away from home. Uh, we usually end up on FPL. Update. I'm stinking. Oh my god, I dropped from fourth to ninth. We have the SDS uh, cast plus staff league. Uh, Just going for that. Let's look at first place. Oh, it's still me. (laughs) This guy, this guy, yeah, charging you. Say no more. Say no more. more. Have you used any chips? Have you used any chips? Not a single one, brother. (laughs) How many has he used? He's already used two, three of them. I'm, I'm on the verge of using one. I can't lie. Can't chat to me. Why? Where are you? Uh, now I'm gonna go through everyone is you're not, you're you're right. on this right. table. So I'm first screenshot on the table. You can see the screenshot anyways, but uh from the table, Liban's in fourth, um Abs in ninth and Lias in tenth. I'm oh I'm god, not the SDS champion! I'm champion sorry. of what? <laughs> 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 Hey, <laughs> right, you scored this one up. You scored this one up to nine out of ten. <laughs> you got the late winners. The late winners. What's happening though? What's happening though? Oh, <laughs> FPL is tough this year. I think it's worth pointing out that in rock bottom is Renedy. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> And, and, and no shock. Like, no shock. That's not even a shock. I don't feel like even a shock, you know. No shock. I don't feel like even a shock, you know. Also, let yeah. me put in the screenshot of the league that you guys are all involved in. You guys are all involved. In. I think at this point now, I think at this point now we have like around fifteen thousand people in this league. Wow. Right, Bloody so hell! Maybe even more. People keep joining, uh, but you guys can join. The code is in the description. I'll remember to add the code in because I think people sometimes comment saying the code's not in the description. Yeah, so we'll put a code in the description. But. Um, 
Yeah, right now, I mean, I mean, there's like 15,000 people and I'm still in the top 300, which is pretty Jeez. good. I'm gassed about that. Okay. Uh, let me read out the top 10. Right mm. now, in first place mm. is Ethan McFadzen. His team is called Luton Free Pizza. Uh, second place, Cheesy Go Nachos. Uh, gluten Free Pizza. Yeah, Gluten Free, Gluten Free. Uh, second place is uh, Dexter. Dexter Slocum with Cheesy Go Nachos. Um, in third place, uh, New Stilo. Fourth place, Bloom. These guys are all... I've read these guys' names out last week, mm. actually, so they're still up there. Uh, Sherm squad is in fifth. Jordan Sherman, uh, Saffron Ahmed in sixth. Of Gigan Press, No Kane, No Gain in seventh. Netflix and Chillwell in eighth. <laughs> Joe in ninth and Champion Twenty Four in tenth. Just outside tenth place, I wanted to um, shout out this one. PK, Bl- PK Blinders is in eleventh place. Hey, some of these names are pretty cool, man. Uh, mm. But yeah, that's the top 10 in the SDS League. If you guys want to join, you guys can join at any point. The code is in the description uh, for the FPL. That is the PR roundup for this week. That was my night emergency meeting for the first like 45 minutes. Let us know who you side with, who you agree with, et cetera, et cetera. Let us know in the comments. We'll be checking it out. I'll be like, conversing with you guys. And um, enjoy the Champions League. We'll be back later on this week. Bye.